You wouldn't have even thought about it if Gary and Izzy hadn't found out about their baby. Uh, look, come on, it'd be nice to know if it's a he or a she. You know, we could pick a name, get pots of paint, or his slash her slash their room. I ain't twins. You better show me that scam photo. Oh, can't we just wait till it's born? You see, there you go, it. I mean, if we knew it was a he or a she, we wouldn't have to talk like it's a, a, a pet lizard or a pack of frozen peas. David should have a say in all this as well, you know. Here, here. Having said that, it might be nice to wait. More fun. Yeah, well, you like surprises, I don't. Is it? Uh, no. It's under here if anyone asks. Oh, finally! I was beginning to think you weren't going to bother. Meet your future grandchild. Oh, oh that's lovely. And what did you decide about finding out whether it was a boy or a girl? We decided against telling you. Why? Well, you said you like surprises. So you know. Yeah. It's uh bu 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 yeah, they were a little bit worried about your blood pressure, though. Only to keep an eye on. Yeah, well, all the same, I think it's wise if we start looking for maternity cover ASAP. Whatever Carly wants, we'll manage. No, I don't want. All right, well, we'll vote then. All those in favour of you working and against. All right, you see that? She raised an hand. <laughs> oh, she, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, beautiful little girl. Perfect. Tina, where did you last have it? Right, well, listen, nobody's handed it in, but I'll have a look. All right. Yep. Bye. Stella? Yeah, she's lost her phone. I bet Carl's lifted it, flogged it, and put the whole lot on her nose. Sorry to disappoint you. <sighs> Why is he rushing her into marrying him? Because he loves her? Oh, don't take his side. I'm not. She's a grown woman. She knows what she's doing. She's said no, isn't she? Yeah, for now. But he won't let it go, will he? Not till he's got his feet under the table. And then he'll let her down. He will, because he's a low life. Right, I'll let her know it's here. Thought you'd gone to work. Well, I just saw the post for not so. That DVD I ordered came then. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got in there? It's a cot. A cot? Couldn't we have discussed this? I wanted it to be a surprise. Well, mission accomplished. I hope you're not expecting me to put the thing together. I can't even do Lego. <laughs> no, I thought I could pick Max up from school and bring him home during his dinner and we could do it together. You know, just involve him a bit more. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, it is. Come here. <laughs> I just think ever since the scan, everything's been dead real, you know, and I can't wait to meet this little one. <laughs> I just want us to be prepared. Well, we need at least one wage coming in, so you better get to the salon. Yeah, all right, I'll see you at dinner. Mm. Bye-bye. He's gonna make such a good dad. Let's just hope the baby's his, eh? Hey? Up when I was born. And where'd you sleep, then? Well, cos we were staying with Mummy's mate, she had this chest of drawers. I slept in the bottom one. What? Not actually in the chest of drawers. I weren't pulling him in and out like I was looking for a clean pair of knickers. <laughs> you said knickers. Hey, it wasn't until I could afford a proper cot. But that drawer was just the right size, weren't it? I put pillows in and a blanket and your favourite teddy. And you slept right by Mummy all night, didn't you? Who does she think she is? Julie Andrews. It's just wrong. I knew lots of people who did that when I was young. I mean, not everybody could afford a fancy cot, especially young mums. See? They even did it in olden days. I don't know how you can be so nice with her. Well, what choice have I got? Oh, this must have cost. Oh, anyway, when I see him like yeah, this, I can yeah. just about put it to the back of my mind. I'm, I'm not sure I could. No, you can't. The doctor says you need to rest. I I'm a waitress, not a ski instructor. We need the cash. Hey, now, come on, you two. Fine. All right, I'll do your evening shift. Eh? Well, it'll solve all our problems, won't it? And Nick's my brother, so he'll understand. Besides, it's only carrying blurts. Oh, yeah, like the last time when you dropped your grand's dinner all over the floor. Yeah, well, there's a lot more riding on it now, isn't there? Come on. You're doing your bit, let me do mine. All right, well, just a couple of weeks then, till my blood pressure's back to normal. Deal. I don't deserve you. <laughs> done. Why didn't you get me up? Because you needed to sleep. I'd have done the washing up. I know, which is why I've done it. Now sit down and I'll make you some breakfast. No. And don't even think about arguing. Where's Mark? Girl's taking him to park. Well, I'm gonna do that. I'll get it. Hey, you're right. Oh, 
Morning. Morning. She didn't wake me up. Oh, change the record, will you? Do you fancy a brew? No, I'm good. I just wondered if David could work the evening shift. Oh, you are kidding. He's shattered. I know. I wouldn't ask, but it's bank holiday. We're fully booked. No, it's fine. Whatever you need, I'm there. The tips alone will make it worthwhile. Oh. What? Hang on. Kylie. Oh, I said hang on a minute. Nick, call an ambulance. Oh, my God. The baby's kicking. <laughs> All right, chill out in there. What? No. Can't be. You're only 21 weeks. It must be something else. No, it isn't, baby. Just need to sit down a minute. Kylie, the book says. Oh, stuff what the book says. Have a feel for yourself if you don't believe me. You were saying? No way. That is mental. Nick, you got to check this out. Sorry. Well, come on. Oh, don't be daft. <laughs> I feel odd. But why? Come on, you're my brother. Seriously, this is important to me. <laughs> How amazing is that? What do you think you're doing? Sorry? I said, what do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Max, upstairs, take your gear off, wash Okay. I told you to leave this to me. And I ignored you. Shall I make us some lunch? <sighs> David, I am not made of China. You touch that button again and there's going to be trouble. Okay. Ah. I didn't touch it. Very mature. Yeah, well, you should be resting anyway, especially after earlier. What happened earlier? Oh, the baby kicked. You put that plug back in. No. <sighs> you need help, you. Why? Because I want to take care of you. This isn't taking care of me. It's about you being some mental case. You're always watching me. I can't move without you hovering. It's getting weird. You're weird. The whole flaming thing is weird. Don't say a word. Some nibbles for Max while you decide what you want to eat. Yeah, cheers, man. Thanks, Nick. Well, this is uh, lovely. No, I can't keep saying I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Tell me something I don't know. I promise I'll get my act together. You better. Am I forgiven? <laughs> Mate, I gotta get home. Oh, come on, just a drink to celebrate. Go on then, just one. Uh, two bottles of lager, please, there. Yeah, coming up. No, I don't look like that. Feel soon, though. Oh, ouch. Yeah, maybe you should just have a starter. For that, I'm having two main courses. Friends again? Oh, don't bank on it. Oh. <laughs> Give me a sec. Can I have a word? Busy. Now. Anyone would think you've won a grand? It's not about the win, it's just everything. I mean, the first time in ages, it really seems like things are starting to look up. Yeah. Yeah, I'll drink that. Don't stay angry at me. Want to bet? I believe you want to protect Stella, but you asked me what I thought. If you want me to lie. No, I don't. I'm glad you're man enough to tell me the truth. You're everything Carl isn't. I just wish my mum could see that. I'm sorry. Oh, I never want there to be lies between us. Right, OK. What's this supposed to be? Do you know, I'll be glad when this baby's born and mugging's in and I have to do all this shopping. I hope you're charging them rent at number 13. Sorry? Oh, Stella and her family, now, now, now they're staying. You are? They're not staying? Oh, haven't you heard? Well, the, the work stopped on the pub. What? Yeah, owing down tools. Apparently, Stella's insurance won't pay out. <laughs> Makes you wonder why, doesn't it? <laughs> do you think she, she burnt it down herself? I mean, you do hear stories of that sort of thing. Where have you got all this from? Excuse me, this isn't mere tittle-tattle. I don't go around spreading false information. I was there. I was an eyewitness when Owen attacked Carl with a crowbar. But if you don't believe me, well, that's fine. Well, what was all that about? I don't know, but strictly speaking, it's none of my business. I mean, that's Kevin's house. Mm. That's true. Although, seeing as he's not here, I should go and investigate. Yeah. You know, just to keep him informed. Well, exactly. Do you want me to come with you? Well, no, that might be pushing it a bit. But I'll fill you in after. Being supposed to be dead safe and everything, not all the same. I think I'd prefer her to give birth drug-free. What do you think? I think he's off duty. And you're not. Right, well, I'll leave these menus there and I'll, I'll speak to you later. I look forward to it. Finally. 
Poor Kylie. You'll be playing whale music and chucking a beam back at her nest. <laughs> you know, when I was having Amy, I took every drug they offered. I mean, think about it, right? A baby's head is like this big. Oh, no. Stop, stop. Jason, we do not all enjoy trawling through the, the intimate details of childbirth. Thank you. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Carla. I realise it must be a bit of a touchy subject for you. Still, your time will come, babe. I hope not. Still, you'll have to hurry up at your age, eh? So, I understand you've started working the bookies. Yeah, yeah, I've been uh, drafted in to help get the business back on its feet. Well, that's what Carla likes to tell him anyway. I suppose you could think of me as some sort of uh, troubleshooter. Oh, hey, it's trouble all right. Uh, do you know this one? Didn't know how to add up until I showed him how to do it. Yeah, see, Peter thinks that you still have to count on your fingers because he, <laughs> he doesn't quite realise that we're actually in the electronic age. Let me have a guess. I bet you failed your GCSE maths, didn't you? You did, didn't you? He I think it's time we hit the road, isn't it? No, no. Night's still young, love. Plenty of time for another one. Hey. Mm. You're home early. Yeah, Nick made me. He said my arms were putting people off. Where's Kylie? Having a bath. Leave her alone, David. She's not gonna drown. I'm not even gonna go see if she wanted help. She's fine. Sit down. You're dead on your feet. You can't carry on like this, do you know? Why right, what? Working yourself into the ground. Stressing over Kylie. This rate gonna be a wreck before the baby's even born and so will she I just want to make sure nothing will go wrong that's all well do you know we can't control everything in life sometimes you just got to sit back and trust that things will work out you think I'll be a good dad you already are no that was different Max was five and this is gonna be a baby my baby You'll be a wonderful dad. Hey, is it true, you know, what folks say when they're like, oh, he's got your nose and, you know, stuff like that? I think you'll look like me. I hope so. All right, Max, come and put your coat on. Oh, mate, don't make me chase you. I haven't got the energy. Well, that's because you're dead on your feet. No work, no play. I play, I've just played top trumps with Max. Max! You're doing too much, it's bad for you. There's plenty of people who do two jobs. And anyway, it's only for one more week. Anyway, I can manage. Right, come on. Bag. See you later. See you, love. Ow! Sorry. It's twice. It's like Sweeney Flaming Todd's in here. He was a highly underrated stylist, actually. Remembered for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, one more cut and I need a blood transfusion. Sorry, mate. Don't call me, mate. Sorry, Mr. Tanner. So... Uh, would you like me to finish, hmm? I think I can manage a trim. Uh, well, I don't think your mind's quite on your job today, you know. Thanks, Gran. All those late nights in the bistro, they seem to be taking their toll. Not you, are not Gran, I can handle it, all well, right? Clearly not. Now, go on, make yourself useful. I'm sorry about this, Dennis. <laughs> Well, I'll be in the basement then, cleaning the pie machine if you need me. Oh. It, it, I've ordered for you to undermine me in front of a customer like that. Dennis walked out of here looking like that Vincent van Gogh. Oh, come on, it was a tiny nick. And anyway, that's not the point, it was unprofessional. It is unprofessional to turn up in an unfit state. I am in a fit state. Oh. Carly, would you try and talk some sense into this one, please, because I am going home. Bye-bye. Oh, I don't listen to any of the nice, eh? What's wrong with you? Nothing. I just made a schoolboy error, that's all. And she says it's because I'm overworking. Well, she's right. You are. Oh, not this again. Kylie, it's only for now, all right? Right, OK. Look, Max is at a mate's and I'm going to make us a nice tea. Yeah, well, you'll have to stick mine in the oven. I'm sorry, I told Nick I'd be there for six o'clock. Here, can you lock up and all? What? <sighs> what exactly did he say? Well, he said he's going to give the idea some thought. Oh. The Rovers is saved. You're engaged. I vote we crack open the bubbly. Well, he hasn't actually agreed. It's not official, Mum. Oh, you can let your hair down for one night. Besides, the guests will be here soon. What guests? Oh, just a few friends and neighbours who want to wish you both well. Who? Dennis and Rita and Michelle and Steve. Don't worry. I'll pay. 
With what? Where's your money coming from? Uh, Leanne, bottle of something fizzy, please, love. Mineral water. Alcoholic and fizzy. I've already told you I want nothing to do with this. I do. It's 20 quid a pop. Mercenary. It's a Wednesday night. Uh, make that two, will you? We've got some friends joining us. Oh, and I'll be expecting a discount. It's a family celebration. Uh, no, I'll be charging you double. Oh, hello. Come and join the party. Um, it's not a party. Oh, well, it's lovely of you to invite us anyway. Ah, go anywhere where there's free booze. Take the Rovers up market when you relaunch. See if we can attract a better class of clientele. Well, I hear the Beckhams are looking for somewhere to get a decent pint. Uh, I like my clientele. This is a little bit over the top. Do you know when you're going to reopen yet? Uh, not sure yet. I miss the old place. Yeah, and me. You spent far too much time in there. <laughs> Mind you, that dip is gorgeous. Mm. Oh, it's tzatziki. Mm. Well, congratulations to the pair of you. I'm very pleased for you. Yeah, me too. Thanks. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I just felt funny. Funny? Well, uh, low blood sugar or something. I'll, I'll get a brush. No, no, no. I'll do it. Sit down. You all right, mate? Yeah, I'm fine. Look, why don't you go home? I'll cover your shift. No, no, honestly, I'll be all right. I can't believe you dogged me in. I was trying to know what happened. Nothing happened, right? I just lost my balance, that's all. Which in this business can be fatal. Today it was a champagne flute. Tomorrow could be a Phillips snake. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, I'll be more careful next time. So this just proves what we've been saying. You're burning yourself out. Oh, come on, that's rubbish. All that is rubbish. I think it's dead romantic. Getting engaged after we saved her like that. I think I'd run into a burning building to save you, babe. <laughs> oh, yes, you would. <laughs> no, you really wouldn't. <laughs> Somebody should say a few words. Oh, Mum, it's not that sort of party. Don't think we should start winding things up a bit. Oh, so I'm just getting going. Nick, another bottle over here, love, oh, when you've got a minute. Mum, shush. Oh, we should propose a toast, at least. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, everybody. Um, I wonder if you'd raise your glasses to the happy couple, Stella and Carl. Stella, Stella and Carl. <laughs> uh, actually, I've, I would like to say a few words. Oh, Carl, no. No, that's all right. I'll, I'll keep it short and sweet, love. Um, I just want to say thank you very much to Stella for saying yes, finally. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know... Whenever I walk around the place, people slap me on the back and say, well, what a good bloke I am for saving Stella's life, but they're wrong. It's Stella who saved my life. Oh. So, thank you, darling. Oh, What's going on? Uh, Carl and Stella's engagement do. No expense spared, I see. <laughs> I just have to extend my overdraft and they're cracking open the champagne. Nice Prosecco. Oh. What do you want to drink, love? A uh, half. I'm counting your pennies. <laughs> oh, <it's something. laughs> so what do you think? Cheers. This wouldn't have happened if you weren't working flat out. How are you feeling? You felt the baby kicking again? No. David makes up for it. He's driving me mad. <laughs> I need some more tops. Oh, I'll do you some more now. No, new ones. Some that stretch a bit. I've got a couple you can borrow. Really? Do you mean like maternity work? Yeah, they do all sorts these days. Most of it you wouldn't be seen dead in. Trousers oh. with massive elasticated waistbands. Have you seen them? It's done greasy, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Painter and decorator look. Good. Oh, Frankie says relaxed T-shirts made good maternity wear. I had one when I was pregnant with Sarah. What about when you were pregnant with me? Frankie says I bought. <laughs> Davey. <laughs> that is well tight. I'll uh, nip out in my lunch shower. Mm. I'll go. Well, I'll, I'll drop you off then. You'll be rushed off your feet. We know about yesterday. Why? Well, what happened yesterday? You dropped a champagne flute. Oh, not that again. Don't touch this iron, it's still hot. Max! Sorry, I'm late, Grant. I just had to drop Kylie off in town. Oh, dear, you all right? 
No, I just nearly had a fight. Who with? A woman in her fifties. Your mother? No, another driver. She pulled out in front of me, yeah, so I kept my hand on the horn. She got out, so I got out. She didn't touch my car, did she? No, oh, your car's fine. Oh, so what'd she say? Well, she wasn't very ladylike, put it that way. And I didn't fancy my chances. Was she on her own? She'd have managed. Oh, why don't you sit down, I'll make you a cup of tea, and I've got some of those shortbreads you like. What time has Mrs. Cooper for it, you? Um, actually, no, we've had some cancellations, so... Uh, for real? Yeah, so why don't you put your feet up and let Maria pull her weight for a change? Do you know what? I might just take you up on that. In fact, you know, why don't you go home? I'm sure I owe you a few hours. What, paid? Of course, paid. This isn't to do with Rita's hair, is it? No. And Dennis is here? What? Oh, that champagne glass I smashed in the bistro. David! Do you want the day off or not? I can manage, you know. Yeah, I know you can. Feeling? I was asleep. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you up? What's wrong? Nothing. Well, you gave me the day off to relax. I've been in bed less than an hour and you, you're around here in my ear all. I'm not in your ear all at all. Come on now. I bought you a sandwich and the last of the shortbread, which I promised. I'm going to make you a cup of tea. All right, then, soon as all you're here. All right. Uh, who's picking Max up? I am. I thought I'd take him to the park, see the ducks, you know. You know, do be careful, sweetheart. Why? Well, because you... Well, I mean, you just can't tell with ducks, can you? I mean, they're like geese. They can be really nasty. And then Max may tumble into the pond. I mean, ponds can be very dangerous. How are you managing at the salon without it's me? It's fine, thank you. As I said, we're really quiet. Maria's doing Mrs. Cooperthwaite now. I thought Mrs. Cooperthwaite had cancelled. Yes, yes, she did. What's she doing in then? Oh, <laughs> well, you know, Mrs. Cooperthwaite, she's a bit. <laughs> no, she's not. She's sharp as a tack. Yeah, well, that's as maybe. Anyway, um, no, what, what happened was. <laughs> She thought, Mrs. Cooperthwaite, that it was next week she couldn't make, so that's why she rang up and cancelled. Then when she realised it was this week, <laughs> she rang up again and said, could she come in? Oh, by that time, you'd left. Well, what an elaborate lie. It's not an elaborate anything. Right, should we go see these ducks, then? Yeah. Where's my phone? It's over there. Right, put your shoes on them. Come on. Hiya. Hey, I like your shoes. Mm. And you? Yeah, I wish. You all right? What's wrong? Yes. I've got to have two fillings and he can't even watch his son for an hour. Well, would it help if I... And ever since I started going out with Ryan, he's been dead spiteful. I mean, I wouldn't mind if it were just for me, but when it's Joseph as well... Well, look, slow down. All right, why didn't he come to the park with us? I mean, I'm only taking him just to see the ducks. What, really? You take him with you? Yeah, well, I don't mind. I'll have to get me practising, don't I? I mean, this'll be me in a couple of months' time. Go on, you get yourself off. It'll be fine, honestly. Oh, and good luck with the, um... <laughs> Come on, then, Donald, over here. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Oi, Duffy. Stupid duck, over here. Max. What? Nothing. So no, no, there's no hoping. That's not how this is going to be, and no one's going to question it. So stop looking at everything I do as a sign of feeling guilty. Well, not everything. Sooner or later, Dave's going to notice, and he's going to start wondering. 
Well, the biggest threat to David's happiness isn't me or Kylie. It's you. This is him, so no more, please. Uh, hey, David. It's Max. Hey, Max. How are you? Something's happened to David. He's fallen over. What do you mean he, he's fallen over? Has he had an accident? Who <sighs> Look, uh, where are you? Are you at home? We're in the park. In the park? What, did David take you there? Yeah. Except now he's asleep and won't wake up. OK, uh, is there anyone else with you? Any grown-ups? Who's Joseph? Uh, Katie's little lad. We brought him with us. OK, well, look, uh, don't worry, cos I'm going to come and find you, OK? Uh, hello. Shh. Oh, sorry, I'm not allowed to speak now, then. Look, uh, stay on the phone and I'll come and find you in the park. David's had some kind of accident. Oh, no! Look, what can you see around you? 200 quid. Max, I'm here. Is David still unconscious? OK, uh, I'm going to try and come and find you. I need you to shout as loud as you can. Just shout hello or something, OK? And then I'll know where you are. OK, good lad. Oh, Sally, Sally, you'll know. Oh, is Katie still stopping at number six or is she back with Chesna? Well, as far as I know, it's... Chairs? Oh. Audrey's just looking for Katie. No, he's asking me. Well, I just wanted to let her know what had happened with that little baby Joseph. Why? What has happened? Well, I can't be absolutely sure, but David's had some sort of accident. David? What's he got to do with Joseph? Well, he took him and Max to the park. He did? Well, why wasn't Katie looking after him? Uh, well, I'm sorry, Chesney. I can only tell you what I know, which is David took them to the park and he's had some sort of accident. Oh, what does she think she's playing at? Well, what sort of accident? Well, Nick's gone to find them, so then we'll know the answer to that. It's me. What's this I've heard about you palming off Joseph to someone else? And now there's been some sort of accident. Oh, so it's not just me you don't want. It's him as well now, is it? Uncle Nick! Max, I've seen you. I'm coming. What's going on? He fell over and went to sleep. Oh, well done, Max. Well done. Look, uh, I'm going to take you and Joseph home. Well, I can... I not a clue. Do you think you had one of your fits? Yeah, I must have done. How are you feeling? Do you think you can stand? I think so. Oh, whoa, whoa, can I take your time? Oh, I'm supposed to be looking after them too. Okay. Looks like Max did a pretty good job. Oh, thanks for bringing him back. That's okay. Yeah, and I'm sorry. It's not your fault. No, it's not. It was her that was supposed to be looking after him. Who couldn't because she had to go to the dentist? So she asked his dad, but he wouldn't help. And why wouldn't he? Who is it that's walked out on this family? Yeah, well, maybe everyone can see why now. Come on, you should have to listen to this. Yeah, well, just don't go blaming me when all this is because of what you've done. Anyway, come on now, let's get you home. You're the one that needs looking after. Yeah, because I'm the sicko. You don't want your kids near. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. We don't want any of that sin. Not the words I'd use, but David does have a point. What point? Well, that he shouldn't be left in charge of other people's children. Well, perhaps not even his own. Can't help it, he's got epilepsy. He's great with them. Yeah, well, not on his lying unconscious, he isn't. I don't believe I'm hearing this. You're always this nasty about your neighbours. Oh, well, you're bound to defend him, aren't you? And we all know why, don't we? Do we? Girls told me about your family secret. He's my brother. Of course yeah, I and to... you're very close. Certainly where his wife's concerned. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just saying, don't lecture me on what I should and shouldn't say when it's you and Kyla that need to be careful. That's what Ella brought all this on? I don't know. Have you been taking your tablets? Yeah. Sally Webster. She won't tell anyone. I would like you weren't going to tell anyone. I was upset. And she's a friend, a very good friend. Didn't mean you had to tell her. I'll have a word. Make sure it don't go any further. You have to kill her to do that. Nick, don't you think you should go see a doctor, have a check-up? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, there's a surgery this evening. Right, well, can you please both go and tell him that, because he won't take any notice of me? Uh, or anyone else for that matter. I always say the same thing anyway. Don't overtire yourself. You're bothering to keep Kylie happy. Well, I'll come with you, but I've got to get back to work. No, it's all right. I'm a big boy. I can go to the doctors by myself. Oh, I never thanked you, by the way, for riding to the rescue. 
That's Max you should be thinking. Yeah. If anybody ever lets me near him again. Why well, wouldn't they? But would you? Leave your kid with a neighborhood misfit? Come on. Because I wouldn't. Well, I've got a kid of my own on the way and no one's going to trust me with him. Of course they will. But why would they when I won't even trust myself? That I won't be able to take him to the park because what happened today could happen any time. I shouldn't even be a dad. Nick? Hey. What were you and Gail talking about earlier when you were whispering we're about David? Uh, you're not going to like this. Go on. Gail told Sally Webster about us, the baby and everything. No, she ain't, no. Oh. You know why? Because Sally's her best friend. What are we going to do? It's fine. I've read of the writer. Sometimes I think we should just tell David. Get it over with. No. No. Yeah, I know. You know, what we have to do is support him. Make things easier for him. I don't think it was a warning. I mean, Dave. You gone off your ice crispies? No. <laughs> Were you letting them go soft and mushy? Just thinking. About what? What if the baby's epileptic? Well, it won't make no difference. We'll love her whatever she is. Mm, just means she's like you. Mm. Yeah, but it can be dangerous, though, can't it? I mean, what if it's hereditary? It, it can do some amazing stuff now. Like, what if there's a test they can do where they prove whether she's got it or not? I don't need no tests. Yeah, but if we can find out anything about the baby, we, we'd be better prepared. We are prepared. But if it's possible to do it, then why not do it? At least we'd be doing something positive. I am. I, I'm going to go book an appointment with a doctor and see if we can sort this out. Squeeze it dry. Easy strokes. And use a cloth in the corners. Yes, ma'am. You know, I never thought she'd actually do it. She's tough cookie, young man. No, but I can't help feeling guilty. It's not your fault. Yeah, well, she asked me for help, didn't she? Said yourself, you bail her out. Car gets a free ride. Why can't she see what he's like? Oh, they say love is blind. Yeah, deaf, dumb and blind. Hang on a minute. Stop mopping. Oh, well, you're not liking my technique? That's my mop. Excuse me. It's my mop. It's got a G on the handle. Oh, I didn't realise we had designated mops. Well, if you'd have taken a moment to look, you'd have noticed that there's a mop with a blue handle with an S stenciled on it. Oh, S for Stella. It's a simple system and it works. Right, well, I'm sorry I shall put your mop back and start again with my mop. It's all right. You can use my mop. Just make sure you rinse it thoroughly before you put it back. <sighs> She's a bit slow, but she'll get there. I'll go easy, Mother. It's a bit of a come down for the landlady of the Rovers. You said I was her line manager. I just didn't want you to feel your position was being undermined. Am I her boss or not? Because I regard this as an important position. You are our senior cleaning department manager. I'll go easy. I'll try. But two mothers-in-law on the same payroll will only work if there are clear boundaries. Hiya. Hiya. Everything all right? Sorry I haven't got time to talk. My boss is a bit of a slave driver. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't be daft. I chose Carl. He made your choice. I'm not changing mine, are you? No. Thought not. Oh, don't stand there. I've just done that bit. Carly about? Uh, no. Well, I thought she was working. Well, she'll be in in half an hour. Can I help? Uh, well, just if you see her before I do, can you let her know I couldn't get an appointment with the doctor until Friday? What, is everything alright? Yeah, it's fine. Just thinking maybe we should do a genetic test on the baby to see if she's got epilepsy. What, before she's born? What? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. It's just, it might be hereditary. It won't change anything. It's just nice to know everything. I don't like surprises, you see. So, if you see her, you just... Give her the message, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. You all right? Yeah, fine. Yeah. Why have a test when it doesn't matter what the outcome is? What's the point? Well, because when you're a parent, you need to know these things. I don't even think there's a test they can do. 
So I'm just worrying for no reason. What a name. Surely they can't do anything till the baby's born. David's worried. If there's any test available, he's going to want it. And if they start testing, he might just find out this baby's not his. Uh, let me talk to him. Maybe I can persuade him to stop anything before it gets started. Oh, hiya. Uh, David popped in earlier. He wanted us... Yeah, already done it. <laughs> All right, that's what you're talking about. Uh, no, I was asking... Um, I won't mind doing a few more shifts, if you want. Oh, really? Are you sure? You don't want to be taking any risks with that baby? I'll get off my case, will you? It's bad enough having David on at me all the time. Him, my first baby, you know. All right, sorry. God, you get pregnant. Everyone wants a piece here. Oops. Touched a nerve, have I? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what can I get you? Uh, orange juice, please, and... Uh... Uh, yeah, I'll have the same, actually. I'll try that off the booze for a bit. There's a dent in my profit margin. <laughs> Listen, um... Not too thrilled about Kylie taking more shifts, you know. It wasn't my idea. I'm fine. Yeah, well, anything can happen. Look, I know you're sensitive after your seizure, but millions of women have babies every day. Yeah, but I'm only concerned about one. There's no need to go over the top. Kylie's healthy, the baby's healthy. You can't wrap them in cotton wool. Go chasing medical tests. They won't change anything, no matter what the outcome. Is he booked in for a meal? Uh, no idea. Well, he knows about this sort of stuff. Maybe we should go speak to him. Oh, please don't go past through my customers. Well, he won't mind. He's a decent bloke. I'll go and ask. <sighs> Is there any history of epilepsy in your family? Not that I know of. Well, then I'm pretty confident that if the only person affected is the father... That's me. ...then the risk of inheriting anything is only slightly higher than for any child. You probably know more about this than me, but I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. Sorry we hijacked you. Not a problem. Glad to be of help. Again. Well, Maria's probably going to be here in a minute. All right, we'll leave you alone. Well, um, just one question before we go. Do you know if there's any tests they can do on the baby, like tests for epilepsy? Uh, don't suppose you've got any more jobs going down here, have you, pal? Sorry, we haven't. I mean, I'll do anything. Yeah, wish I could help. <sighs> hey, I'll be back down that job centre first thing tomorrow morning and every day until I find something. Hmm. You know, I don't think I want to stay very long. I feel like every time someone spills a drink, I should be over there mopping it up. How bad was it? Oh, it's fine. I'm not afraid of craft. Well, none of us are. That's why we'll work our way through this. It's not the work that's difficult. I can't keep away. Well, I, I thought I'd come in and admire my shiny surfaces. Well, don't get too complacent. I mean, it was a good first day, but, uh, well, let's just say could do better. Really? Well, your mop work was a bit streaky and you did forget to change the loo roll in the gents' toilet. Oh. It's amazing, isn't it? All the years I have worked in pubs and I didn't realise how little I know. What with the art of moppery and the science of toilet bowl decalcification, thanks to Gail, I should have a PhD in cleaning by the end of the week. See you tomorrow. Eight o'clock. Sharp. Absolutely sure. That's what it says here. There is no test for epilepsy on the unborn child. So it's just part luck then? I'm a midwife, not a doctor. You can find all this stuff on the internet. Yeah, I know, but it's still Look, good. Look, stop worrying. You should be enjoying this time before the baby comes. You're not going to have any time to worry when it gets here. Could you book him some yoga classes? <laughs> Take up fishing, but just try and relax, OK? Did you hear that? Where? Yeah, I'm at the bistro now. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, no, it's fine. I I I'll come back. All right, bye. Liam's got a temperature. I'm going to have to go. Oh, sorry. Yeah, thanks, though. Bye. See you. He's a nice bloke, isn't he? Do you feel better now? A bit, yeah. He's going. Quite frankly, I can't blame him. Punches don't come here to be pestered. So, there you go, driving my customers away. No, he had to go. Liam had a temperature. Yeah, it was quite helpful, though. What did he say? <sighs> that it's fine. There's no test that can be done on the baby, and it's not even likely that she'd have it anyway. Well, that's a relief. So, uh, can we relax now? I just want everything to be perfect, that's all. <sighs> yeah, and it will be, babe. You just need to stop worrying. David. And the gents. What do you think you're doing? I'm just doing anything. When I told you there was no test for epilepsy, any idiot could have seen the relief on your face. I was relieved. 
And what if David had seen it? I would have told him it was a bad idea. Do you want him to find out the truth? He won't. Not if we keep our heads. Yeah, and our distance. And you keep him away from any more daft ideas. Everything all right? Yeah, fine. <sighs> Have I done something to upset her? Country air? Mm, not fresh about country air in my experience. I just hope I can hold my brekkie down. Oh, you'll be all right. Oh, as long as David likes it. What have I got for my lunch? Well, why don't you ask Nigella? But I bet it's cheese spread. Cheese spread? Again? <laughs> yeah, it's a speciality. What's this? Musical statues? Well, you're a fine one to talk. Like a zombie most mornings. Yeah, too right. I don't know whether to bring you a brew or blow you away with a sawn off shotgun. No, just a cup of tea'll do, Ta. Right. Have a good day, babe. That's you. Mm -hmm. I'm only off to Bessie Street, not Vietnam. You all right? Fine. Well, go on, it's gone half past. Hmm? Feel like I'm on holiday, though, not remand. You've got like strange ways with sheep. No, that's as high as I can go. I'm not as sorry as I am, mate. Oh, no good. Everything half decent in our price range is booked up for months. Left it too late. Is this the night away? Was. But you don't have to go away anyway. You can just have a nice meal somewhere. Oh, we can go for a meal any time. I want this to be different. Special. Oh, fat chance on my budget. Right. David's been really good to me. I just want to do something nice for him. He deserves it. And yeah, you both do. It could be a while before you get a chance to go away again. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm good. Oh, don't be. Find yourself a cottage, somewhere you like. Don't worry about the money. I'll chip in the extra cash. Nick, I can't do that. You can. <sighs> Thank you. Whispering again. Mm hmm. Hey, Kylie was showing me her nails. Why? Just put some new colour on them. Let's have a look. Come on, babe, let's get you ready. Uh, let's have a look at your nails. Right. Something is going on and she is in on it as per usual. Are you sure it's not the baby? Is there something wrong with it? <gasps> there is absolutely nothing wrong with the baby. The baby is fine, I swear to you. Ah, but there is something. There's not. You must think I'm daft. Nail polish, really? Oh, I think you're paranoid. Right, Max, which is it? Skateboard or scooter? Scooter. Right. Come on then, let's split. Why don't you just tell him? What, and ruin the surprise? I'll tell him just before the taxi pulls up. I quite like having David in the dark. You can't handle it. It's funny. I'm going in shower. Is it all right if I get off early this afternoon? How early? Half four. I'm meant to be until half six. Right, we'll call it half five then. I'm meant to be packing David's bag. Eh, uh, we're trying to run a business here, you know. Nick, can I get off at half four today? Yeah, should sure think so. Excuse me, what were your parents? If you don't like something I say, you can't just ask him. She's taking David away. I don't care what she's doing. I'll make up the hours. Oh, fine, whatever, if my word counts for now. Soz. Ah, who isn't my favourite wife and favourite brother? What are you doing here? I just thought we could have some lunch. Soz, I'm working through. He's hiding something. No, a baby. Come on, tell me what you know. I don't know anything. See, you're doing it as well. You're smiling and you're laughing when you're denying it. That's what Gail's doing. I'm not going mad. It's nothing to worry about. Okay. I'm only telling you because I'm your brother and I don't want to ruin it, but she's planning a surprise. But what? Is it a party? Because I don't like surprise parties. It's not a party. It's a nice, nice surprise. So what? She's told you all about it? Oh, please stop asking. Well, just give me a clue. Just go away. So, um... He's, he's told me everything. Your big secret's out. Well, that's weird, because there isn't one. Table five. Table seven. When you say nice, like, how nice? Not another word. And you can't say I've told you. You haven't. Has he ever even changed a nappy? Have you? Well, I didn't get a chance, did I? Oh, no. Do you want a cup of tea, Tina? Uh, no, thank you. I think we're nearly done, aren't we? Yeah, just about. Yeah. David, you get what you've always wanted, you're lucky. Finding someone who wants the same thing as you do. 
I suppose he's been banging on about his big surprise, hasn't he? Ooh, what big surprise? Well, he thinks Kyle is planning so much. It's all he's talked about all day. Is she? Oh, well. You see, they're all in on it. It's all winks, smiles and shrugs all behind my back. But, David, your whole life's been played out behind your back. <laughs> yeah, too, right? So, uh, what do you think it is? Well, I don't know, but Nick says she's been planning it for a while. Mm. Well, surprise isn't only nasty, so... Oh, well, that's reassuring. Well, they are, though, aren't they? Well, not this one. This is very thoughtful. <laughs> well, I'm winding him up. Yeah. Well, enjoy it, whatever it is. Exactly. Especially if she's gone to all that trouble. All what trouble? Oh, to... <laughs> yeah? How come my name's crossed out on all the appointments booked in for tomorrow? Oh, is it? Yeah. Says Maria next to all of them. I mean, even the Renshaw twins, and they're my clients. They're my heads. I wonder who's done that. You're an appalling liar. Do you know that? This is about that surprise, isn't it? I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I honestly don't know anything about it, David. <laughs> well, that's funny, because you've been acting like you know everything about it all day. Where am I going? Where's she taking me? I have no idea. What? Well, is it abroad? David. Look, just answer me that one question. Is it abroad? No. What? No, I'm not going abroad, or no, you won't answer the question. <laughs> Hello. Uh, how much are these? Oh, David, you shouldn't have. <laughs> there are six ninety-nine. Do you know how many times Steve's bought me flowers? How many? I guess. Um, none. Twice. Is that good or bad? Well, blokes just think they need a reason, don't they? That's the problem. <laughs> what about these? They're four ninety-nine. Sold. So is it, uh, is it Kylie's birthday? No. Oh, your mum's? Do you really think I'll buy Gail flowers? All right, so what's the occasion? Uh, there ain't one, really. They're just for Kylie, just because. Ah, oh, David, that's well romantic. Well, I do try. <laughs> Keep the change. Adios. <laughs> Bye. Oh, now don't spend it all at once, will you? Pour it in with the petty cash. <laughs> Bye. Hello? Is anyone here? What time does he normally get home? Uh, five. Jamal's mum's dropping him off. Ah, oh, it's nice he's doing gymnastics. They didn't have after school clubs when my lot were at Bessie Street. Not that it made any difference if they did, because Davy wouldn't have gone. He's never been very clubbable. Oh, I felt like clubbing him a few times. <laughs> David, you're not in, are you? They'll be home soon. We packed his bag. Just about. Oh, cheers for looking after Max. I really appreciate it. Just promise me one thing. What? You're not doing this out of guilt. No, of course not. I'm doing it out of gratitude. After everything he's done for me. If only he knew. Well, let's thank our lucky stars that he doesn't. And long may it stay that way. Well, can I get you a drink? No, just tell me what you want. Oh, I'm dead nervous now because I know what you're going to say. You're not pregnant, are you? <laughs> no, I am not pregnant, thank you very much. I've decided to set a date for the wedding and I wanted you to be the first to know. I've said this to Nick and I'll say it to you. What's happened between you two stays in the past. It's gone, forgotten. No need to spend the rest of your lives overcompensating. Look at one night. It'll never happen again. You know that and so do we. Can you smell flowers? <laughs> Not likely. In fact, I think we should stop talking about it altogether. What? You and Nick. Do you know the one thing I regret the most? Well, I should hope I do. Yes. I mean, I regret all of it, obviously. I just wish. I wish it hadn't happened on David's birthday. Well, what difference does it make? You slept with his brother. It's pretty despicable any day of the week. In fact, it's Christmas just rubs salt in the wound. No, but every time we're singing happy birthday to him or he's opening his presents. Yeah, well, let's hope that little baby turns out to be his aim. That way you're one step closer to a guilt-free future. And what if it doesn't? Better peg the washing out. You will stay quiet either way, Gail, won't you?
David. I'm here. What are you doing? Just watching you sleep. Are you okay? You look so innocent. Like a little girl. <sighs> we have dropped off. Yeah, I dropped off downstairs, but... I got woke up by that stupid nightmare. What nightmare? Same one. Been strapped in the people carrier and driven in the canal. Hearing Sarah and my mum screaming. When as the water came in. Thinking we're gonna drown. That must have been the scariest thing ever. Yeah, I never worked it out though. I mean, what makes someone wanna kill their own family? What do you want to do today? Don't know. We could go for a walk. Or you could come to bed. What are you doing? Yeah, we're going to the Red Wreck to play football. Shouldn't you be at school? The classroom got flooded. Burst pipe, so we're going to go and get an extra bit of training. Sure this is wise? He's a six-year-old boy. Yeah, and you're probably not as fit as you used to be. We're going for a kickabout. It's not the Champions League. Just hope he can keep up with me. David makes us run two laps before we play. I'd prefer three. Mum. Want to come with us? No, some of us have to work. Please be careful. Come on. On your marks. Get set. Go. Da, 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 da. I thought you were coming back to bed. Do you want to go for that walk? Uh, I could think of something else I'd rather be doing. David? What? Oh. You're in a really weird mood. Yeah, thanks for noticing. Are you going to tell me what's wrong? Do you want to know? Do you really want to know? Yeah, I do. I don't like surprises. What? You heard. I said I don't like surprises. I like to know what I'm doing. I like to know what's going on. I don't like it when people go behind my back and then turn everything upside down. I thought I was doing something romantic. I've spent a long time planning this. Yeah? Why don't you tell me? Because I think surprises are nice. <laughs> well, you've not had the surprises I have. You're determined to ruin this, aren't you? If I'd known you were going to be like this, all I wanted to do was show you how much I appreciate you. Really? Yeah. And give us some time to ourselves before the baby comes. And all you want to do is sulk. Well, great. Go ahead. I'm going in the bath. Morning. Can you shift this, please? I want to get past. Can you go around, please? No, I don't want to go around. I'll only be a minute. Yeah, well, you're in the way. Yeah, for a minute. I said shift the Hey, way. what are you doing? I'm clearing the path. Are you insane? Yeah, I am. Are you? Sorry. Nutter! David? David? Love. I'm frightened of water. Ah. David always takes it. Yeah, well, I'm not David. I can play my football. Look at me. I'm your granny. Not Robin Van Persie. What's for dinner? Mm. Some crisps in the cupboard. David usually makes me sausage. And chicken some beef. cake. Have some cake. Okay. Ah.
Hello? It was useless at football. <sighs> is she? She can't kick. And she won't go swimming. Well, she is old. She's rubbish. She's giving me crisps. We like crisps. Where is Gail? She's in the bath. What are you doing? Me? Um, nothing. When are you coming home? I I'll be home tonight. Is Mum there? No, sh she's in the bath as well. OK, then. See you tonight. Yeah. Bye. Love you. I love you. David, what are you doing? Are you OK? Have you had another seizure? Oh, you're freezing. I feel like I'm losing you. What? I am. I can feel you slipping away. Where's this coming from? I'm going to end in disaster. Right, now you're frightening me. Can we please just go back? No, I... I need to ask you a question. OK. But I don't think I'm going to like the answer. David. Do you love me? Like, for real? Look, I know I am murdered to live with. And I know I do stupid things. And I know I have a funny way of showing it. I love you more than anything in the whole world. Are we going to be OK? Of course we will. Can you promise me something? OK. Can you promise me, no matter what happens, Right, you'll never leave me. Never. Can you promise me that? I promise. Can I ask you something now? What? Do you love me for real? Because the way you've been acting this past couple Kylie, of days... Kylie, Kylie, I wouldn't be here if I didn't love you, all right? Come on, let's... Let's go home. What makes you think I'm not OK? Chippy attitude. How was your trip? It was emotional. Certainly. Doesn't mean anything. No, really. Minnie Jones says it in Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels. Why say it? Because you asked me. Because I'm worried about you. And why are you worried about me? Because of all the stuff that's happened. And what's happened? The epilepsy, the drama with Kylie. And what's that got to do with you? Because I'm your brother. Have I done something to upset you? Mm, let me think about that. Something's not right. I love Kylie, right? I know you do. And she gives me reasons to hate her all the time, but I don't. I love her so much that it hurts. I love her more than my own family. And do you know what? What? Blood is not thicker than water. Really? If I were in a burning building, Right, and I could only choose to save one person. I would pick Kylie every single time. I can understand that. And to leave you die a horrible death in the flames? I couldn't blame you. Unless I started the fire. <laughs> you got a sixth sense of humour, you know that? I'll get him in. I owe you one. Actually. After everything you've done, I owe you big time, but I'll pay you back. I'll make sure I'll pay you back for everything. Summit. Yeah, you should have school dinners, I did. <laughs> you want a bistro? I've got a chicken key over here. No. Yeah, chef just had a few left. It's just a big nugget anyway. <laughs> All right, David. Hiya. How was your romantic mini break? Mind blowing. Hmm. I wish my husband had planned a secret night away for me, hint, hint, hint. Oh, he's good at keeping secrets, this one. The master. I just chipped in a few quid. You helped plan the whole thing, didn't you? Uh, well, I. All that sneaking about, and I didn't rumble it. Talk about gullible. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I hated not being able to tell you. Come on, I bet you loved every minute of it. So did you have a good time then? Uh, yeah, I was just um, gobsmacked, really, about the whole thing. 
Yeah. Right, we better get you to school. See you later. Yeah. Mm. See you later. Bye. 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 I am only the lodger, as you keep reminding me. This is your house. But if I don't buy the milk, there's never any in the fridge. I just went and got some dinner. Because you had no choice. You didn't do it because when you drank the last drop last night, you thought, oh, we might need some milk in the morning. I'll go and get some. You just don't think like that. Neither of you do. It's the same with the cleaning, the washing up. You and Kylie just assume it will all be done. Oh, will you shut up, you silly cow? You're doing my head in. All you ever do is witter on, sharing every little inane thought that pops into your tiny little head. Can't you filter some of it out? Or better still, just keep your gobshit all together. David. And yes, I do own this house, so I don't see why I should have to put up with this. I mean, you should be grateful we even put a roof over your head. I could have kicked you out on the street, you know. And in fact, we might still do that. You can take all your little hideous ornaments, all your little cheap tat with you. We'll get the place deep cleaned, degaled. You don't mean that. You know, last time you moved out, Mum, it was bliss. I don't even know why we let you back in again. Must be gluttons for punishment. Excuse me, this is your mother you're talking what, to. What, and you think that entitles you to some respect, does it? Don't make me laugh. You're a lousy mother. You always have been. Awful. I had a miserable childhood growing up and you're making me miserable now. I should even get you a mug made. World's worst mother. Why are you being so nasty to me? Because <sighs> I feel like it. All I did was point out that I do everything, and I do! Yeah, well, you're not the only one who's allowed to complain about what goes on under this roof. Right, if you won't move out, then I'm putting your rent up. What? Well, you pay as a pittance as it is. Why should I have to subsidise your mourning? You're being ridiculous. I'm serious. You can't. I can. Why are you doing this? How was your night away? Yeah. Cottage nice. You okay, sweetheart? Fine. You and Carly haven't had a row, have you? Yeah. Actually, a massive one. We're finished. I chucked her out. No. No, of course not, Grant. Everything's fine. Oh, David. Yeah. What time is my first appointment? 9.30, but she's wrong to say she's late. Well, I've got a 10.15, so if she didn't hear soon, she's had it. We were like it from the minute we set off. Really? A sulky and acting weird. He even disappeared at one point. I had to go and find him. And when I did, he kept asking me if I loved him and telling me how much he loves me. Well, it just be miffed you organised something without letting him in on it. So he sulks. It's what he does. How's the cottage? All right? Gorgeous. Really nice living out. Great views. Lovely bed. All wasted on misery guts. He came back in a foul mood. Really? Well, yeah. Some this morning seemed OK. Tore a strip off me for daring to criticise him for using up all the milk. Did it? Absolutely flew off the handle. When was this? Just after you left to take Max to school. He said some really nasty things. But I just assumed the pair of you had been talking about me and how fed up you were. Well, we didn't mention you. Only to say how much of a lovely grand you are to Max. You didn't decide you wanted me to move out? No. Because it will get cramped in that house when the baby comes. We'll need you more. And he didn't discuss putting up me rent with you? No, and even if he did, I wouldn't let him. He's just winding you up. You know what he's like. Well, I know what he used to be like, but I thought he'd changed. Today, it's like he went out for milk and came back his old nasty self. I've been in that house for 20 years. I'd hate to have to move out, move into some grotty bedsit. Because that's all I could afford. Hey, you are not moving out and we're not going to put your rent up. You leave David to me. Uh, I'll just be a sec. What's going on, David? What? Your mum's in tears over there. She said you said we're putting her rent up. Was she annoying me? So it's a wind-up? Well, it was, yeah. But actually, more that I think about it, she pays way below the market rate. Right? Yeah, because she's your mum. Exactly. And she helps out with Max, and she'll help out with the baby. Yeah, and when the baby comes, we'll need all the money we can get, so if we evict Gail now, we'll get a proper tenant. It was really embarrassing when she said it. Like, we don't talk to each other about something as important as this. Yeah, we don't tell each other every little thing, no. Not like you and her. What? Well, you've both obviously been having a right good moan about me. Because she's really upset. Good. David! I'm really sorry about the floor show, Emma. Shush. 
Why is she sending you to fight battles anyway? She's not. I came here to put you straight. Well, I want her out. She could call you bluff, you know. Actually move out, then you'll be sorry. Kyla, is there anything else? I've got a client. I don't want her to move out. I quite like her being there. When did you and her get so pally? We're not. I have to live with her, that's all. So can we please just drop it? We're putting her rent up, an extra 50 quid a month, and then I'll call it quits. You're an idiot. Do you think Nick and Leanne will ever have a kid of their own? Hmm? What? Do you think Nick and Leanne will ever have a kid of their own? I mean, Nick is so good with Simon. Pity if there were just the one. How would I know? Dearie me, what's up with you today? Nothing. Well, you don't seem very loved up considering you've just had a mini break. Well, it seems no matter how happy I am, there's always something to bring me crashing down to earth. Oh, that's what it is, is it? Post mini break blues. Yeah. Yeah. Your mum is obviously bearing the brunt of it. Yeah, well, she winds me up. Oh, David, I know, but come on, she's your mum, so go easy on her. Well, why? She doesn't care about me. Yes, she does. Why are you saying that? I just feel like my head's going to explode, Gran. Oh. What do you worry about, you sweetheart? I mean, you've got a lot on your plate, David. Working here. Becoming a dad. But that's not your mum's fault. It's not Carly's fault either, so... Come on, don't take it out on them. Hmm? David's serious. He's not. Do you know what's up with him? Oh, he's just been moody. I'm not staying where I'm not wanted. There you are, wanted. David's just talking rubbish. Oh. New wine glasses? Ooh, what they like. Have a look. <gasps> They're nice. You know, we should road test them. Put some wine in them, try them out. Oh. Forget about David for ten minutes. Stick an orange juice in mine, then. Yeah, I should be on that, too. I'm gagging for the real thing. A few months from now, bring it on. Cheers! Cheers. Don't complain. No, I'm not, and I'm dead grateful that we're so busy. It's just, well, after the week we've just had, I just thought it might be nice to have a change and have a relaxing night in together. Did you now? Yeah, especially as Simon's at his dad's all night. Place to ourselves, decent bottle of wine. Yeah, something like that. Sounds perfect, yeah, but... No buts, no buts. Kylie, you'd be all right looking after this place, wouldn't you? What, tonight? Oh, look, don't worry. No, 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 she don't mind, yeah. I mean, you'd only be sat at home, wouldn't you? No, it's fine. Sure you can manage? Apparently. Oh, great, thanks. Right, I'll just get me a bag. Why don't you get the wine? Oh, actually, uh, make it two bottles. Thanks. And if you're good... Ooh, you want me to be good now, do you? OK, let me rephrase that. Well, I've no intention of being good. <laughs> oh, my God. Just look at it. Like this. Destroyed everything. Oh no. Oh, don't touch it, mate. I'm gonna go and check the bedroom. Okay. I'll go. They might still be here. Yeah, well I hope for their sakes they're not.
You all right? Where's Carla? Working. Tried calling you, but it went to answer machine then. Max is on a sleepover, so there's just the two of us. I've done as told in the hole. No, I'm not hungry. Well, you will be by the time it's ready, and I, I thought, seeing we're just the two of us, we might have a little chat. Well, if it's about the rent, you can forget it. And I've said I don't want your dinner, so... Do you know, I don't know what's got into you. I was only trying to... What? Hell? Yes. I thought with Kylie working, you'd be grateful. Oh, did you? Trouble is, you always think you know what I want, don't you? Or what's best for me. No, I don't. I just... What is wrong with you? Oh, hi, Nick. What? Well, that's terrible. What kind of sick person would do this to someone else's home? Probably someone who's high on drugs. Yeah, police reckon if it was druggies, they would have taken something. Yeah. Tell you, computer, something they could sell on. Maybe they got disturbed. It was a laptop. Camera, small stuff. You know, the thought of some scumbag in my home going through my things, it makes me skin crawl. Look how easy it was to get in. Look, I'm just going to fix the door and change the lock. I mean, what if we'd have been here? What if Simon had been here? They may come back. Yeah, well, they won't if they've got any sense. Listen, uh, why don't you lot go around to ours? It looked like I could do with a drink or something like that, and I'll wait here for Owen. That sounds like a good idea. Sure? Yeah, of course I am. But, uh... Cheers. Hold on. Cheers. And um, thanks again for doing it at such short notice. Uh, no problem. Not surprised they got in, though. The only thing that lot was good for was stopping the door from blowing open. Right, what should you do with these? Uh, you can give them here, Nick's at mine, so. And he'll come settle up with you tomorrow yeah. if that's all right. No rush. See ya. Yeah, cheers, bye. thing is, I think I'd feel better if they had taken stuff than it would have been a straightforward burglary, which would have been bad enough, but to not take anything. Maybe it's like David said, I mean, maybe they were disturbed. Or maybe they were high to begin with and didn't know what they were doing. Hiya. Everything OK? Yeah, it's all sorted. Thanks. At least I could do. Oh, thought you two were meant to be on a date or something. They've been burgled. No way. Yeah, we got to the flat and the door had been smashed in. But what did they take? Nothing. Just trash the place. All our things. Why do it to us, though, eh? Why us? Listen, if you don't want to go back there tonight... Well, they've had a new lock fitted. Yeah, but still. It's up to you. Max isn't here, so... Well, if you're sure, yeah. Yeah, of course, aren't we? Yeah. And listen, everyone, um, I've been a bit of a pain today. Sorry. No more than usual. Hey, listen, I could come round tomorrow and help clear up if you want. For about work? Well, it's grand. I mean, she's family. She'll understand. Really hope you being there. Yeah, well, you look to be dealing with it quite well. And you go on automatic, check the room, call the police. If there's anyone I was talking to Leanne earlier about her and Simon being safe, uh, it hit me. Thought about the consequences. I couldn't bear it if something happened to them. Yeah, well, you two seem really good at the minute. You know, like you're both really happy. Yeah. We are, yeah, finally. <laughs> it must have taken a while to put a lot of Peter stuff behind you. It is behind you, isn't it? Of course it is. Because she's lucky, you know? Uh, to be honest, if Leanne treated me the way that she treated you, with all the wedding and everything, I'm not sure it's something I'd ever be able to get over. I mean, not really. Do you love someone? Yeah, I, I know, th this is just me. I mean, we both know what I'm like. But no matter how much I loved someone, or how much I thought they loved me, if they betrayed me, there's nothing they could say or do that would ever make me forgive them. I mean, how would I know they wouldn't do it again? It'd eat away at me. I couldn't do it. Lucky she chose me. 
Instead of you, then, eh? <laughs> yeah. Night. Good night. What are you still doing down here? I'm just thinking. You'll give yourself an headache. What about? Nothing, really. Just us and the baby. Well, can you come and think about it in bed? Yeah, I'll be up in a minute. Is everything OK? Fine. Love you. I love you too. Which I could say the same. Still got the ordering to do. Then the hordes will be descending in a minute. I can do the ordering if you like. <laughs> I'll end up with enough olives to service a Greek wedding. No thanks. All right. You need to bite me head off. All right. Yes, Kylie feeling better? Uh, I think so, yeah. Her appetite certainly seems to be all right. She's asked for one of those um, little mini shepherd's pie things you do. Oh, yeah, help yourself to in the kitchen, in the big freezer. Oh, she got cravings? No, she just can't be bothered to cook. No, well, because then I'll be the one who ends up going when you make some excuse that you're busy. Right, fine. Fine, bye. Sorry, can you spare me for ten minutes? Simon's been going on about going to Alton Towers for his birthday with some of his mates. I've already said we can't afford it, but Peter's gone and said yes. The idiot. I'm sorry. I'll be ten minutes, sorry. Looks like I'll have to muck in after all. She said she'd be ten minutes. Yes, and we all know her ten minutes, especially when Peter snaps his fingers. Oh, come on. She's got a kid with a bloke. You can't blame her for that. Yeah, exactly. I just get that pie. Oh, Leanne's still not back. It's gone AWOL. She's not gone AWOL. She texted me. Sorry, got waylaid. Don't give you much of a clue, does it? Oh, you mean she's still with Peter, then? That's what worries me. Oh, Mum, will you shut up and mind your own business? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where have you been? Oh, don't ask. So I can go home now, can I? Don't bother to thank me. Mum. What happened? What took you so long? Oh, have I? What's this? Spanish Inquisition. Table five. Deirdre came into the bookies to ask Peter if he could scan Amy's latest report card so she could email it to Liz. He didn't know how to do it, so I went over to Deirdre's and I... Oh, do you know what? I'm boring myself here. Can I just get back to work or what? What a good idea. Seriously, Gail, what is your problem, eh? Just because the stereotype of a mother-in-law is an interfering old bite doesn't mean you have to live up to it. Well, 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 there's no need for that. Yeah, and there's no need for her sniping and all. She's been doing it all week. We are worried about where you were, that's all. Oh, well, maybe it'd just be easier if you had me tagged. I would bet. Oh, go on. He's supposed to be having a night off, but all he's done is work. Someone's got it. Yeah, well, not now. He's going. Mm, doesn't look like you got much joy. I'll get my shoes. So how's Kylie, then? Not long now, eh? No, just a couple of months now. Oh, bet she can't wait. Yeah, me neither. Well, you'll have your work cut out for you then, you know. <laughs> so they tell me. We're not going to talk about babies all night, are we? No. All right, come on. Let's go. See you later. Yeah, have a good Thanks. time, try. Banging on earlier. What about this time? About Yoli Ann and Peter Barlow. What'd she say? Oh, this and that, making little hints, you know what she's like, but... Did get me thinking. Must be quite hard on you, obviously, with him still hanging round. Rather he wasn't. What can you do? Yeah. I think she just saw him talking, anyway. Yeah, I have too. She has to talk to him, he's Simon's dad. Yeah. Yeah, of course he is. They were probably talking about Simon, anyway. But what'd she say? Would you just tell me? I don't know exactly. I mean, she don't want to tell me, so it must have been pretty bad. No, just forget it, all right? David! Well, I don't want to make it worse for you, all right? And it's not what I want, so... Let's talk about something else. <laughs> Dev. Yeah, I'm just tired. We'll make a lot of noise when you go in, in case she's on the phone. Yeah. I know you're joking, but it's not funny. Sorry. It's just an unsavoury subject. Yeah. All right, your wife's been unfaithful to you. I'll try and think of a better joke for next time. Yeah, if you would. You yeah, okay? What have you been up to? Oh, not a lot. Any calls? Uh, not for you. So for you? One or two, yeah. From? What's this? I've got to tell you who's calling me now. Huh. Of course you don't. 
Well, one was for my Toya, the other one was for my mother. Anything else you'd like to know? Because it's all on my phone if you want to have a look for yourself. I'd rather not. Oh, I've got into you tonight. Well, I'm going bed night. Night. So you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> you look as young as the day I met you. First time around. Come on then, spit it out. What? What are you softening me up for? Your present hasn't arrived yet. Oh, well, it better add, and I hope you've not forgot. I'd never forget your birthday. Yeah, I know. No. I'm sorry I've been a bit strained recently. Forgiven. Just work and everything, you know. Well, delegate. Yeah, uh, I will. Shall I go and wake Simon? Oh, no. Give me five minutes. Save me the piece. I'll put kettle on. <laughs> Isn't this Peter's? Yeah, it is. Where was that? Down the back of the couch. Oh, it must have fallen out of his pocket. When was he here? Oh, I don't know. Um, last week, was it? When he dropped Sider? Can't have been long ago. He would have missed it. He didn't come round when I went out with David, did he? No, he didn't. Do you believe me, don't you? Yeah, of course. Good. Because you say some funny things sometimes. Anyway, give it here. I'll drop it off when I've taken Sider to school. This is the best bit, though, isn't it? Choosing baby stuff. Especially when I get to stuff half of it up my top. I beg your pardon? Well, they're never going to stop a pregnant woman, are they? Are you talking about shoplifting? No, I'm not taking the shop, just what's in it. Kylie? Well, have you seen how much they charge for stuff these days? It's a rate rip-off. Well, that doesn't mean to say you have to rip them Mom, off. Mom, she's winding you oh, up. Oh, you spoil spot. I had to go in then. Hey, you hurry up, you. You even brush your teeth yet? Yeah, I think I'm going to give it a mess. No snogging, then. No, they're shopping. Why? Are you not well? well? Yeah, I'm fine. I just don't fancy dragging myself around town on my day off. Could show a bit more enthusiasm. She's your baby as well, you know. Uh, I don't mind. I get to spend more without him there anyway. You enjoy your day off. Have some chill time. You deserve it. Mm. Oh, actually, do you know what? I'll, I'll come with you if you want. No, it's OK. Uh, would you do me a favour, though? Will you go to the bistro and remind Nick I'm not in till this aft? I did tell him, but he was really busy. I don't think he heard me. Right. Yeah. Get lots of baby grows. They're a godsend. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Well, yes, yes. She's my granddaughter. Yeah, no doubt about that. Oh, glad you came in. Oh, well, that makes a change. Just, uh, I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. There you go. Oh. I don't be expecting any brownie points. It's only because I si reminded you. Ah, you sussed me. But I did buy the card myself, though. Yeah, so I can see. Where'd you get it from? Clearing sale at cabin. Right, won't bother next time. You better I'd do, otherwise our side will have your guts for garters. So did Si tip you off or have you taken up gambling? Neither. I came to return this to you. Well, you found it. Do you know what? I've looked everywhere for this. I didn't think I'd ever see this again. Blimey, I feel like silver black. Where was it? On back of our couch. <laughs> what was it doing down there? I don't know. Anyway, I'll leave you two to reacquaint yourselves. Won't want to feel like a gooseberry trap. Um, Kylie told me to remind you that she's not in till this afternoon. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I thought you might. You're right. You seem a bit down. No, I'm fine. Oh, honestly, you think him and that lighter were old mates away went on? He's practically in tears. What's that? I have nothing. Oh, Peter left his lighter around ours down the back of the couch. Is that a card? Oh, yeah. Cheapest one he could find by the looks of things. What? Peter? Yeah, right. Better get back to them books then. Oh, happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> Cheers. Right, I'm gonna chat then. <laughs> I'm full. For kisses? <laughs> Funny. Ten of them. Ah! <laughs> 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 Carla's name's not on it. No, oh, well, maybe he didn't show it her. Why not? No reason, I just thought with her and Leanne not getting on, that's all. Right. Anyway, I've got things yeah, to Yeah, I, I have anyway. I'll, I'll see you later. Hey. No, no, play for me. Leanne, thought I'd better get something or Nick would be cross. Well, you can't get much crosser. How do you mean? Barlow got... The delivery man. 
Ah, the beautiful. Ah, oh, thank you. I'd like to take the credit, but they're not from me. No. Oh. Well, that's odd. There's no note. They'll be for my Janice. <laughs> so why no note? Well, you know Jan, probably in a rush, you know, in her. And these are from me. The chocolates. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, thanks, Gail. I'll have them later on. <laughs> Bit extravagant for Janice. Happy birthday. Ah, oh, cheers. I'm assuming that lot's not for me. Uh, not unless you've shrunk a few sizes. Baby oh. glove. Aww. Oh, oh, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> you could have a little mini me on your hands. You're going to get some massive dangly earrings and all. <laughs> oh, I'm only joking. Ah, oh, cute though, aren't they? Hey, Nick, look at that. Oh. Lovely. You all right? Hey, yeah. I've uh, just come to see what you fancied for your tea. Oh, I don't mind, really. Can I have a look, then? Here's my baby, innit? Of course. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, cute, aren't they? Blimey. That must have been expensive. Oh, not for me. Really? Who loves you enough to spend a fortune? Oh, they'll be from our jam. We don't really know, do we? There's no note. That's what you're trying to say. I've got some secret lover. Secret admirer. Don't be daft. So we all know who that'll be. Who? First a card, now flowers. Exactly. Who are you talking about? Peter Barlow. Nah, he's with Carla. And why would you want a digestive when you've got a custard cream? Yeah, with Barlow it's different though, isn't it? Why would you have one biscuit when you can have two? That from Peter? Yeah. They have to try and get on for Simon's sake. As long as that's all it is. You might not trust Leanne. But I do. It's Peter I don't trust. Don't blame you. Do you know something I don't? No. You tell me if you did. Of course. Why, has something happened? It's been going around the flat when I've been out. You asked Leanne? Yeah. She's trying to tell me, is she? She knows how I feel about them. Maybe it's me being paranoid. Cards, flowers, secret visits? I don't think so. Here he comes. The home wrecker. You what? You sent those flowers to Leanne. OK. Right, well, if you say I did, then I must have done. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. You stay away from her, do you hear? I'm not having you upsetting my son again. Oh, it's all right, girl. I think he manages that all by himself. You're just jealous. Cos he's got what you wanted. I'm warning you. Do you know what, Gail? Why don't you jump on that broomstick of yours and cast your spell somewhere else? Hey, don't talk to my mum like that. Well, she's going to stand there and make these insane accusations about me and Leanne. But there is no you and Leanne. Well, it's over. thank God somebody's talking sense. Well, it's just a pity you can't get it into your head. Do you know what? If I really wanted her, all I'd have to do is click my fingers and she'd come running because I tell you what, she must be bored out of mind with you. Oh, well, come on, then. What are you waiting for? No, don't make his gold in you. Gold in him? I stand here and gold him all day, he's not going to do well, he's too scared. What's going on? Oh, nothing to do with me. Why don't you ask him and your demented mother-in-law? Oh, well. Oh. So the accuser behind her back, but not to her face. <laughs> I never accused her. Do you reckon we are having some kind of an affair? I don't know. Why don't you set them straight? Never said that. Oh. Apologies. An unfortunate incident with an incinerated steak and kidney pie. <laughs> right, well, best go and open up. Don't want anybody to accuse me of skiving. Do you want some toast? Whatever. Oh, right, uh, two coffees to go, please. Oh, somebody's in the doghouse. <laughs> Mind your own business. All right, I'm only joking. Yeah, well, don't. Tea. Don't you take out on me just because you got out the wrong right, side listen. of the bed. Do me a favour and stay out my face. You what? You heard. I think that pregnancy's turned you a bit. Look, let's let's go. Do you know what? Some people think it's important to do the right thing, right? Some people. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Ask her, ain't I got here? Taking out on me just because I'm pregnant. <laughs> Look, uh, Tina, I know you might be feeling angry, all right, but please don't take it out on my wife, all right? She's not the one to blame. Look, come on, let's go. I mean, can I have a word? Look. I know I was out of order. What were you thinking? 
I told you in confidence, Tina, as a man. Yes, I know. But, but you got to forget I ever told you anything. How can I do? Well, I don't know. But you got to. <sighs> Look, I know you're only looking out for me as a mate, OK? But I love Kylie. And I know she loves me. David. But despite everything, all right, I know she does. I can't lose her. I can't lose my baby. If it is yours. Tina, I need you to promise me. Please. What about the civil ladding? You, you expect me to stand by and let you do whatever it is you're thinking of doing? That was just a bit of talking. All right, I'm not bothered about revenge. That baby's mine. I know it is. And me and Kylie, we've got a future together, OK? That other guy, he's, he's history. He's in the past. Just so long as it stays there, right? You know what? I actually felt quite sorry for... What? Tina? Well, I was talking about Kylie, but... Yeah, Tina as well, I suppose. I mean, it must mess your head up having to give away a kid like that. It was bad enough for me and Peter when we were wrangling over Simon. Talk of the devil. Oh, you got that one right. Just stick him all in. Hey! How's the flowers doing? He's still blooming. Oh, grow up. Listen, mate. If you ever want any present advice, you know. Man to man. Nick! Is your own relationship so boring you have to amuse yourself with ours? Oh, I don't think any woman I've ever been in a relationship with has ever complained she was bored. Isn't that right, Nick, Lee? Oh. leave it. Just leave it, I said. Leave it. Every time. You let him get to you every single time. No. Just what feel so good to have hit him. Oh, yeah, because that would have solved everything, wouldn't it? See you when you get back from the old sailors. I'm okay, thanks. Um, listen, I I'll just say it and then you can tell me I'm on my own business. Is Nick all right? How do you mean? I was just I was speaking to him earlier and he seemed all fired up like he wanted to punch somebody. Was this this afternoon? Yeah. Yeah, Peter's been winding him up. Well, I thought they'd sorted all that and everything wrong. <sighs> well, they still hate each other's guts, don't they? Anyway. What are you doing here? Uh, I was just asking Leanne why you're in a mood. Not in a mood? Yeah, that's what she said. And I realise I should stick to cutting air because I'll never make a psychologist. Give us a hand bringing these, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? Oh, what? You're kidding. Yeah, here's your chance. Well, he's not going to want to babysit if she's with him. Well, there's no harm in asking. Chairs? Yeah, what? Hi, Sinead. Um, do you want to babysit for Joseph tonight? It's just, I wouldn't normally ask. We've got these tickets for this gig we want to go to. Oh, has it? Well, what a shame. Only we can't know. Cos we're going out. Are we? Yeah, we are. We are now, anyway. Come on. You should have said it was for a gig. Oh, right, so what's I supposed to do? Lie? You just leave that bit out. Oh, right, OK, next time you can do the asking. I always have tea, Kath. Do you? Yeah. I have one at the start of the day, and it? Sorry, I'm not open yet. So I just go back to my car, and there's a great big scratch down it. Somebody's keyed it, so I just wondered if anybody in here might know anything about it. What makes you wonder that? I'm just asking Nick like I'm asking everybody. But you came here first, haven't you? Did, as a matter of fact, yeah. Well, no, we don't know anything. Why would we? Because I know he was there. Ah, now we get to the truth. Because he was there earlier. And so were you, Leanne. You heard him gobbing off, giving it the usual stay-out-of-my-way performance. So why don't you? Well, of course he's too scared to face me. So he waits till I go back in, and then he takes it out of my car like the big kid that he is. Right, and you can prove this, can't Oh, I don't need to prove no, it, Leah. No, I'm sorry, but you do. Otherwise, don't come in here making stupid accusations, which actually... It's okay. makes No, it's not all right. Which actually makes you the big kid, accusing Nick of doing something that you do. I've keyed my own car? Yeah, why not? Then you could blame somebody else, can't you? Well, sorry, it's not going to happen this time. Well, somebody's done it. Go and have a look if you don't believe me. No, I'm not going anywhere. You are. Get out. 
Oh, is that right? Yeah, really, otherwise I'll throw you out. And don't think I won't, cos I will. And then I'll leave you with a few scratch marks to show for it and all. Then you'll be matching your little car, won't you? No, we don't know anything. Now get out. We'll see. Yeah, we will, won't we? Try. Oh, he's pathetic. Making out you do something as childish as that. This woman's amazing. But make sure you stay on my side. I am on your side. Because <laughs> I'd be scared to death if you turned on me like that. <laughs> so you're going out? Hiya. You want some peanuts? No. David! I stole them off my brother. And that amazing woman he likes to keep on his side. Oh, I don't know what you're on about. Well, aren't you the lucky one? Are you going to be eating with us? Depends what it is. A uh, cottage pie, which I hope is to your satisfaction. Oh, that sounds lovely, Gail, but do you mind if we go and have a lie down for ten minutes? I feel absolutely exhausted. Well, yeah, I suppose I can put yours in the oven. Oh, thanks. How oh, she can be tired when all she's done is lie on that sofa? What do you think she's faking? Why don't you go up with her, eh? See, she's all right. Because you suggested it, and I don't do anything you suggest. Did you know that? Well, I should do by now, yes. Yeah, you should. What is the matter with you, David? Has something happened? Has something happened? To make you like this. <sighs> Are you talking worldwide? Because I'm pretty sure something must have happened in the Southern Hemisphere, or was your inquiry more to do well, forget with... Forget I asked, eh? Because if you can't be civil, I'd rather you If I can't be say... civil? Hmm? Maybe I can't. Maybe I've tried. Maybe I've tried harder than what anybody would ever try, all right? Maybe I just can't be civil anymore. Yeah. Have a nut. Don't want one, thank you. Certainly don't want you throwing at me. Try again. Catch. Can you stop it, please? I'm your landlord, you know. I can check you out any time I want. Yes, you have mentioned that before, so do you want to? Well, let's say you've got to catch the next three nuts, yeah? And if you don't, you're out. You know, I think you're regressing. I think you're becoming a child again. Yeah, you might be right. You ready? No. One. Stop it. Two. You know, I sometimes think rather than you throwing me out, I'd be doing us both a favour if I left this house anyway. Left you to make your own meals, do your own washing up. Three. Do your own washing and ironing, then maybe you'd realise just how much I do for you. Right, OK. Now you've got one more chance, right? You've still got to catch three nuts, but this time in your mouth. I have tried and tried to help you put up with your bad behaviour, which at times, I have to say, has bordered on the deranged. <laughs> Mum, I don't think you're trying. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying to stay sane when sometimes I think I'm the only one who is. David! Do you know what? Maybe we do have something in common. <sighs> really? Yeah. Because I sometimes feel like that. That everybody's against me. Especially people in this family. Especially you, Stop mother. it! You know, you're supposed to look back on your child and it's supposed to be happy, innit? Everybody's supposed to be getting on. Well, mine wasn't like that, though, was it? David! Why? Cos we didn't get on, did we? David! Tell me why! Why, why wasn't it like that? David! What? what is going on? She dropped her nuts. You've got to eat your stomach. You're the one that cooked it. And why? Cos I thought we could have a nice meal together. And we still can. You really think so? All right, come on. Last chance. Open your mouth. David! Not stopping here to be a target for peanuts. What is the matter with you? Nothing. I'm just trying to spread a little peanut-shaped happiness, that's I'll all. I'll be at Sally's if you want me. Yeah, OK. Gail, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Sorry for you. What do you think? What's going on? Yeah, it's a good question, that. I wonder. So what's the answer? All right, well, before I say any more, are you really, really sure you don't know? Yeah, I'm really sure. So, what is it? Yeah, seriously, stop messing about. Why are you so wound up? It's Nick. But I thought you two were getting under well lately. So go on then, what about Nick? Come on, babe, just spit it out, just talk to me. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of him always being Gail's golden boy. And as far as she's concerned, he can't put a foot wrong. Why are you letting it 
only gets here like this. Because all my life I've been made to feel second best and I'm sick of it. Hey, oh, come here. Are you uh, marrying the runt of the litter? Will you stop? He's no better than you. Yeah, right. I bet you see him as this big hero, oh, don't you? Be it. He sticks up for you at work. Well, he's a decent enough boss, yeah. Yeah, any time you're feeling down, he's all there, there, oh, Kyle. David. He loves nothing more than to splash the cash. I like him, yeah, but he's hardly perfect, is he? Oh, he can be dead boring all the time. It's so reasonable, it's just wrong. And have you seen his hair? He uses way too much product and he looks like a Lego man. You are twice the man Nick is, and if Gail can't see that... Come here. I mean... That's my name. Don't wear it out. No, we thought we'd have a night off for once. Bistro was quiet. Same again? Uh, yeah, cheers. Uh, three pots of lager and an orange juice, please. Sure. Certainly, coming up. So, I've been thinking, you know on Monday's our slowest night of the week? How about we do a student night? Oh, could you look less interested? I still want to put the customers off. What customers? The Invisible Man and all his mates. Oh, come on, Nick. Their money's just as good as anybody else's. You know Mum will be asking for danger money clearing up after that lot. Why can't you just trust me, eh? Just for once. Well, if you two are going to have a domestic, we'll get off. £14.70, Tarcock. £14.70? Just think of all them student loans burning Noel in the pocket. And I could get some flyers printed out and I could get the staff to hand them out over the weekend in town. No, I'm not convinced, Lee. Well, even if we got an extra couple of dozen people, it'd still be better than a normal Monday night. Okay, uh, leave it with me. In other words, shut up about it. Same again. So we're going. I thought it was your night off. You know me, I can never switch off. Oh, come on, let's just have another, then we'll go. Hi, Sean. Have you got a bottle of that nice Merlot? I have indeed. Oh, actually, better be on the safe side, Beckett, too. Well, don't come crying to me when you're having your stomach pumped. <laughs> it's not just for me. Gail's turned up. She's got a face like thunder. <gasps> it's a trouble at mill. Well, I can't make head and the tail of it, but I don't know, it's something about David chucking peanuts at her head. Peanuts? Do you know what some people get up to in the privacy of their own homes? The mind burgles. Drowning your sorrows? Not enough beer in the world. Is this down to that daughter of yours? Yeah, she's, she's gone back to live with Anna and Owen. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm officially the worst dad ever. <sighs> Don't be daft. Kids are never easy, believe me, I know. I've got two daughters myself. But it must be harder for you, you know, coming to it later. Yeah, yeah, it is. <sighs> yeah, I won't take any notice of Nick. I think that student night's a top idea. Honest? Yeah. I mean, they spend a fortune in the chippy in the kebab shop. Why shouldn't the bistro cash in and all? Well, I wish Nick was as keen. Yeah. Well, he wouldn't know a good idea if it bit him in the bum. <laughs> Don't say no for an answer, Leanne, but it's up to you to make it work. Just prove him wrong. Morning. Morning. Do you fancy a cuppa? Uh, I had one at South. Right. Are you OK? No. Not really. If it makes you feel any better, I had a right go at David last night. I shouldn't think it made much difference. Thanks, anyway. Excuse me. Mum, wait. What for? Another load of threats and abuse? Look, about yesterday. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, well, we need to talk about it, OK? Look, what I said, what I did, it was totally out of order. I think I'm just worried about money and, and the baby coming. I took it out on you and it all got on top of us, so for that, I'm sorry. OK? No. No, it's not OK. I and mean, what happens next time things get on top of you, hey? Who are you going to throw abuse at then? Kylie? Or the baby? No, like? I won't do that. Really? I'm not so sure anymore. A bit more groveling, she'd be right. That don't make it right the way you treated her. I 
tell you what, if you'd done that to me, you'd be groveling through a mouthful of broken teeth. What's going on with you lately? It's like I said, feeling a bit stressed, that's all. Right. Well, you better sort it and quick. What's that? Oh, just a few more flies for the student night. I thought you saw it today. Yeah, but a few more stuck around the place. Won't hurt, will it? Don't worry, they were dead cheap. Yeah, I can tell. I saw this two-for-one business. Well, it'll work in our favour, because it'll just encourage them all to get bladdered and spend more. The students, they don't need any encouragement to get bladdered. I haven't told you the best bit either. I've only got a report coming down from the Gazette. What for? Well, to report on it, what do you think? It'll be extra publicity for us and that'll be a good thing, won't it? You said so. Morning. We could try sounding a bit more positive. I'm trying. I'm just nervous, that's all. You don't trust me, do you? I didn't mean that. Yeah, well, that's what it sounded like. Leanne! No, it's all right. Forget it. I'm busy. It's gonna be one of them days, isn't it? Thanks. How much extra booze you ordered in? Oh, just 12 or so more crates, but I think we're gonna need them. Why are you expecting? Shane McGowan. <laughs> Coming tonight, Mum? Well, I suppose I better. Somebody should keep an eye on things. You're right. You seem a bit quiet. David had a go at her last night. What happened? If you don't mind, I'd rather not go through it again. It was hurtful enough the first time. He did go a bit radio rent even for him. Said he was worried about money and the baby coming. I think there's more to it than that. Do you know if anything's upset him lately? No. Do you want me to have a word? No, leave it. It'll only make things worse. Should be okay. Yeah, I know. But do me a favour, keep an eye on him for me, will you? Yeah, sure. David? All right, pal, watch where you're going. What'd you say to me? I'm sorry, OK? I don't want any trouble. Yeah, you might not. You all right, David? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't look fine. Look, no offence, Tina, but if I were you, I'd just leave me alone, all right? Well, uh, you're not me, are you? Kid! Look, you can't just forget what Kylie's done. No one could. Especially not you. Why do you even care? Because I'm your mate and I'm worried. <sighs> I wish I hadn't told you anything. Yeah, though. well, you have now. And I'm not letting it go, so come on. Every time I think of her with someone else, I, I, I just want to put my fist through something. But I know there's nothing I can do except try to move on. So if you really want to help me out then, Tina, then just forget about the whole thing. Like what I'm trying to do. All right. Well, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah. Come on, get a... Excuse me, I'm looking for Leanne Tilsley. Oh, are you? Are you from the Gazette? Yeah, I'm Naila. Hiya, Leanne, thanks for coming. Yeah, well, thanks to my sleaze of a boss, I'm not exactly covering the big stories, if you know what I mean. Right, well, I've uh, put a table aside so we can have a chat. Can I get you a drink on the house, of course? Mm, dry white wine. Small, medium, large? Massive. Who was that? Report from the Gazette, they're doing a story on us. Must be a slow news day. Oh, give us a break, Gail. I'm doing my best here. Yeah, to be fair, it's not normally this busy on a Monday. See? <sighs> it's starting to pick up. That's just what I was saying. One thing I was thinking, though, this music. I agree, it's far too loud. Nah, it ain't loud enough. There's three things students like. Kebabs, cheap booze and banging music. Got the booze and the music, but it definitely ain't banging, Nick. Successful, then we could always do another night. <laughs> Good evening, Gail. Hello. Kylie. All right, Mary, what are you doing in it? Oh, I was passing and I heard the music, so I thought I'd pop in and see what was happening. Oh, it's this new thing we're trying out. Student night. Oh, that explains all the pale, spotty youths everywhere. Well, I'm guessing you won't be stopping then. No, no, I think I'll stay for a drink or two. After all, I've always considered myself a student of life. Although Mother reckoned I failed my entrance exam. So, what do you recommend? Somewhere quieter, less rowdy. <laughs> oh, come on, Gail. <laughs> the night is young. 
Even if some of us aren't anymore. Well, I've got to hand it to you, bro. It's not exactly the hacienda, but the place is getting pretty rotten. Yeah, it's all Leanne's doing. Between you and me, I hope it stays this side of lively. Yeah, well, you can't blame her if anything kicks off. Can I? Oh, I'm being summoned. Who's that who's with her? Some journalists who persuaded to come back. Well, well, you better get over there. You don't want a bad write up. Uh, this is Nick, my husband and business partner. <laughs> Hi, could you give me the number of Weatherfield Police? Your daughter-in-law. She might be slightly coarse and have dubious dress sense, but she makes a fantastic pink lady. You'll have to try one with me. Why not? Seems I'm here already. See? You're beginning to enjoy yourself after all. I wouldn't go that far, but uh, considering the reputation of most students, uh, it's not been bad. You know, that's one of my biggest regrets in life. Not going to university. Well, that and not marrying Richard Claydeman, obviously. <laughs> well, there's always hope. That's what I admire about you. Well, well, despite your many romantic disasters that you've suffered over the decades, you're like a boxer who's been beaten and battered around the rim. You might be bruised and you might be bloodied, but you will never give up. You're back now, are you? What? I saw you nip out earlier. I wondered where you'd gone. I just went to Emily's to check on Max and make sure he's not doing it already. You have to Husband of the Year award or what? I'm a kind, sensitive, modern man, in case you've not noticed. Oh, still can't put a box seat down, though, can you? <laughs> job we ordered extra booze. This lot can pack it away. Yeah, I know. Just think of all them puffies. Right, I'm getting off. All right, well, thanks for coming and uh, make sure you give us a good review, eh? <laughs> Oh, well, it'll probably be buried amongst a used car rat or a picture of a dog that looks like Wayne Rooney, but, you know, I'll do my best. Thanks. Do they look like strippers to you? No. Can we speak to the owner, please? That's me. Is there a problem? We have a warrant to search the premises. We've had a report that there's drug dealing going on here. Oh, I don't believe this. I do. Oh, go on then, say it. I told you so. We'll start with the toilet, shall we? This way. Oh, look at her. She deserves a slap. My boss is going to fume. He put me on the most boring store he could think of, and I'm going back with a scoop. Uh, I believe they call that a second chance vest. The armour that they wear. How my life would have been different if I could have slipped on the vest of second chances. Uh, back to your seats, please. And get comfy, because no one's going anywhere. Look. You'll not find out. If there were drugs here, I'd have spotted it. Well, people don't know what they're looking for. Well, I do. Well, we're a cage dancer, love. There's not much I've not seen. Hey, did she just say cage dancer? Oh. I once had a conversation with a lad so far off his head, he thought he was Justin Bieber. OK, <laughs> let's not slow the officer down, Kylie. Found bite. Come on, you can cough up a sound bite. OK, zero tolerance. That's sound bitey enough. How old are you? What's that got to do with anything? It just sounds better if there's an age. You know, like the accused, 37. Well, no one's accused him yet. It's an example. Do you want to know what you can do with your example? David, I'm 32, OK? Don't wind her up. Dread to think what she's going to put in the Gazette. I'm sorry. I know you're doing it because you care. Why don't you let Leanne talk me into this? Because you're soft. If you do find any evidence of drugs on the premises, phone this number. I want to know who phoned you. Just let him go, Leanne. It was anonymous. No, I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be able to just phone up a bar and get it raided. There should be checks. Yes. <sighs> I half expect you're not dressed for it. I didn't have Nick Tilsley down as a drug dealer. Two suit and tie, not enough bling. We pulled a crowd in for a Monday. It was two for one first hour. No one told me. I must get going. I can't do anything to help poor Nick. And I must get to Norris before somebody else. He's unbearably smug. If you tell him gossip, he's already heard. Right, we're always told to be specific. So am I safe in saying that we're looking for speed, ecstasy? Okay, okay, that's enough. If you want to interview the police, you can do it outside. Oh, so much for not winding her up. He's upset. The gentleman tonight's over. <laughs> Ain't Leanne, you should at least try and hold on to whoever's still here, you know. Oh, you're joking, I. It's a flaming disaster. Well, what? Are you happy for the punters to remember it that way? 
Besides, how else are you going to shift all the cheap beer? Yeah, actually, you might have a point. Uh, we're extending two for one. Yeah. Get them in, Kirkby. Just for another hour, everybody. <laughs> You're having a disaster. Oh, flaming police must have put the box on the end there just so I can knock it off. You know, I can't believe they wouldn't press up her rang. Oh, I know who, and I know why and all. Yeah? Yeah. Put some flyers in a bar next to the student union. Well, they don't want any competition, do they? What, someone from another bar? Yeah. Oh, such a cheap trick. I mean, they must have timed it so we got raided just after our two for one, before we could make any profit. You know, you want to do something to make sure that they all come back next week. You're kidding, aren't you? They could go mad. Well, if I were you, what I'd do, I'd take these flyers, I'd staple next week's date on all of them, and I'd take them right back down to that bar, showing you won't be intimidated. Actually, no, you know what? Scrap that. It's best just to roll over now. It's easier, any road. Two for one's finished. I told you. I should have got extras while it was on. I could have bought four and had four free. But you didn't. Do you want them or not? Full price. Good job, Swift. Ganging up on us because there's more staff than customers. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, they the flight. Shall I put them in the recycle? No, I'm taking them down Student Union. What? And the bar that dobbed us in. I'm going to rustle up a crowd for next week. I reckon it was that Jono woman that phoned the police to get the story. Nah, well, uh, she was too surprised. See you in a bit. Right, let's not do it next Monday. Or any Monday. Let's just cut our losses. Oh, and let them win. No chance. See you later. Leanne! Are you really going to do this all again next week? Maybe she's right. Maybe we shouldn't let whoever called the police win. Yeah, but you knew it was a bad idea even before that. I know, but once it gets round, the police didn't find any dealing. Hopefully we'll attract the right crowd. Yeah, and all the drug dealers that want to claim this place as their patch. Don't say that. Well, wouldn't you, if you thought there was a gap in the market? I mean, you don't think things through sometimes, Liam. I'd rather try out new ideas. Yeah, all right. It's not like tonight damage your business or what, is it? We'll recover. You really think your regulars are going to keep coming back through that door, not knowing whether they're going to have a candlelit dinner for two or cheap beer poured all over them, and they won't be able to leave because there's a copper stood on the door? Talk to her. Talk to her? You need to tell her, Nick. I mean, she's happy enough spending the money this place makes, but you need to put the business first for us, mate. Are you sure you don't need me? Don't rub it in, Mum. Do an extra hour tomorrow morning. They've left quite a mess. They're students? I meant the police. One of them knocked my potions box off the shelf. My multi-purpose cream cleanser spill, and the lid was off the bleach. I'd have found the police. They are the police. Yeah, you don't mean they can do what they want, though, does it? I'd have had them arrested. What for? I don't know. Bleach of peace. Uh, how about that? I'm sorry. So you should be. I'm off, Kylie. Tell Leanne to mind the spillages. I'll sort them tomorrow. So if she ever comes back. Yeah, I thought you were going to get her back here before she handed out them flyers. Yeah. She mustn't have got the text. I ignored it, you mean. On you, Todd? No. Ryan's coming, it's a date. All right, chill. Yeah, he'll be here in a minute. He's just, he's had stuff to do. Well, babe, I'm waiting on you. Why don't you order now? I said he's coming. No, now, without him. I'm not without him, we're fine. Why don't you order a drink or something? Look, I'm not proud of what happened, but I'm, I'm with the right person now. Sometimes we might do the wrong thing, but it doesn't mean it can't be right, does it? As long as you're with the right person in the end. See you again. Might as well close you two get off. Are you sure? Well, stay, have a beer with you if you want. Is the two for one offer still on? Don't be mean, David. I'm not ready to laugh about tonight yet. Where have you been? It wasn't the bloke from the bar. What wasn't? Who rang the police? Oh, we were dead nice, actually. We were dead genuine. He reckons the more venues, the better. It gives the place a real buzz. You've been drinking? I've been in a bar doing promotion. I told you I don't want to do another student night. Yeah, well, too late, pie pooper. That was a stupid idea. Oh, thanks for that. I shouldn't have let it happen. Don't talk to me like I'm some teenage work experience. I texted you. Yeah, well, I was dishing out flyers. Read it and ignored it. Too busy chatting up some student bar manager. Oh, you're jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm annoyed. You ignored me when I clearly stated I wanted the conversation before we did anything. Oh, right, so we could just do it the way you wanted to do it. Not every idea you have is right, you know. I haven't managed restaurants before, you know. Yeah, I managed to burn it down. Are you seriously bringing that up? <sighs> You're jealous. Well, I'm sorry if I enjoy my work. We've lost money, we've lost customers, and now we're getting a reputation for having the place raided by police. 
I should have trusted my instincts. Instead of trusting me. That's not what I meant. You know, first I learned you don't trust me personally. Now I learn you don't trust me professionally. Why are you even bothering with me? Leanne. Bistro. Bust. Nah, too obvious. They always use some rubbish pun in the headlines, these journals, anyway, always. But more rubbish than bleach of the peace. Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> nah, it'll be something lame, like, Nick gets nicked. Yeah, I wasn't nicked. Or she'll put in bistro, right, but she'll spell it B-E-A-S-T. Bistro. <laughs> and a picture of you looking all shifty. I don't look shifty. Yeah, why is that? Like you never look shifty or you never get proper angry. Just always Mr. Smooth. You're angry today? Hardly. And if it was me, I'd have been bouncing off the walls. You'll have a little mild kick off, you'll count to ten, then everything will be all right again like nothing ever happened. Yeah, I wish. You are. Like with that journal. Kicked her out? Yeah, and then you forgot about it. I couldn't. It'd eat away at me knowing that she's a total shark. And she's all nice and matey to me face and then plotting and lying behind me back. She's just doing her job. It's like the same with Leanne before. And she let you down. But I bet you're already working out a way to make it right again. It's no big deal in the scheme of things. Except she's done plenty of big deals in the grand scheme of things. But I'll not mention the wedding again. Yeah, good. There's no point looking backwards. If it were Kylie that had behaved like that. Yeah, me and Leanne. Sorted it. Yeah, I know, I'm just saying if it was Kylie... Yeah, but it wasn't, was it? It was Leanne, OK? And I don't just count to ten and let it go. You know, sometimes, sometimes I just wish people would stop going on about it. Max, your tea. Uh, not too much for me, Gail. I don't like being too full before an evening shift. Well, let's hope we don't have the same dramatics as last night. Yeah, tell me about it. If that journalist has stuck me on front page, I'm going to batter her. No, I saw the Gazette earlier. Not sausage. Yeah, I'm probably too busy hacking people's phones. David, will you stop doing that, please? Who do you think you are, Ringo Starr? Mm, well, there's always tomorrow, I suppose. Oh, God, I'm dreading it. Well, then don't go in. Throw a sick here. We won't say out, will we, Mum? No, I'm dreading the paper coming out. Oh, right. Anyway, as much as I'd like to slob round here all night watching telly, I can't let Nick down. You're so professional, aren't you? Nick's one of the good guys. Tuck in. Might need some salt. Yeah, I'll get it. Max! Hello. Oh, Mandy, is my mum about? She's got the mobile waxer in. Ask not to be disturbed. Right. What's up with you? You've got a face longer than Celine Dion. Can I get a white wine when you're ready, Ty? Yeah. Look at that. Because they have done a story on the drugs raid on the bistro. Oh. Oh, do you know what? It's not even a story. Nick's going to do his not when he sees this. Oh, there's loads of places round here. I've raids all the time. Yeah, I'd dodge your pubs in the back end of nowhere. You're meant to be a high-class eater. Look, don't show him it. He's all over the place at the minute. I mean, he even had a go at me last night. He's off his head. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just make out I haven't seen it. This is the last thing he needs. It's just damage limitation. Oh, like we weren't stuck in enough of a rut already. Look, just remember, today's Gazette is tomorrow's chip paper, and you and Nick are for keeps. When was the last time you had chips in a newspaper, eh? <laughs> oh, do you know, I better go to work. Oh, sorry, um. Look, you're all right, I'll get this. Oh, go on. Ta. See you later. See you. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Why have you taken your phone with you in the bath? Anyway, uh, have you seen the Gazette? Special's on the board, Tick. Are you two gonna speak to each other or what? We've been circling each other all night saying diddly squat. We've got loads to say, just not surrounded by people. Things not good. I was lousy to it last night. I had a bad feeling about student night. I was proved right and took it out on her. Well, then say that to her. She'll be made up. Right, I'll just get your wine for you. Wine for table five. Don't suppose you saw the Gazette, did you? No. Anyway, Nick's got something to say to you. Oh, what are you? He's a glove puppet. Go on, Nick. I'm sorry. Thanks. 
But what I'm to, she'll be made up. Moody old boot. Hello, next piece, Joe. Sorry? Thanks, love. I won't be long. Max is in bed. Do you think this is wise? Got to know sometime. I meant what I said, even if I sounded disingenuous. Mm, swallowed a dictionary. Have you seen this, Nick? Sorry? What is it? This is what happens when somebody invites the press in. Oh, my. <sighs> No wonder I've had cancellations left, right and centre. Just had a table of ten drop out. Well, it's a nightmare. Local bistro raided by police. It's not even like they found anything. What's going on? Your front page news. Well, page three. Oh, I always want to be a page three girl. It's not funny, Carla. Oh, <gasps> God. Mm. There weren't even any drug taking going on. Well, so Leanne said. She used to be a druggie. Oh, thanks for that, Gail. Yeah, I knew last night was a mistake. Oh, yeah, just make out it was all my fault. Actually, it was a good idea. Oh, yeah, because this was a really good idea. Oh, shut your face, Kate. Okay, it doesn't matter whose fault it was. We've got to face facts. This, this doesn't bode well for business. Don't say it, Mother. So how come you got an early doubt from the bistro? It's doing OK, isn't it? It's that article in the Gazette. There's been a couple of big cancellations, apparently. Nick said I could go home. Two parties of ten or something. Oh, poor Nick. It's Leanne. She's caused him so much grief. He doesn't deserve it. You're spending a lot of time with him recently. You are getting on all right, aren't you? Well, it's none of my business, but I'd say, um, them two are pretty dodge. You're joking. You don't think they'll split up, do you? Don't look so excited, David. I'm not. I'm in bits here. <laughs> well, seriously, though, if that's true, I think it could be the end of the road for them. New meal on the menu? It's a Dorney Duscanini. Didn't even know what that was. Pasta tubes with sausage and pecorino. Yeah, get you? Well, I did run my own Italian restaurant, as you were in such a rush to point out the other day. Ah, uh, the one you turned into a pizza oven? Right. Oh, you're right. Don't season me. You're not funny. All right, Leanne, put the pepper pot down. Let's talk about this like adults. Why do you always make me feel like a failure? You're not a failure. Yes, sir. I am a failure. Listen to us. I need a break. Come on, then. Let's go. Uh, this afternoon. See if Deirdre can look after Simon. Can we? Yeah, come on. Give it up for Nick Tilsley. Come on, little hug. No. Come on, I'll try. Stop. Promise we won't try anything Stop. naughty. Oh, this is what I like to see. Love's not so young dream. Have you, uh, you made up? Lines of communication have been reopened. Have see if Carly can cover up us. Why are we going? Well, who knows? Maybe the lakes? Maybe Western Supermare. Mm. Well, there's nothing like the spur at the moment. Two minutes earlier, she was threatening my life with a pepper mill. <laughs> they have closed up before, you know. Yeah, I know you have. Hey, where'd you put them for in the end? Oh, York. Four star, last minute, dirt cheap though. Mmm, nice work. Mm, might even go on a ghost walk. <laughs> Here. How come you let her off the hook? Haven't you heard of forgiveness? No, I'm plenty forgiving, but I mean, come on, she nearly ruined the business the other night. She didn't know, did she? She came up with an idea that would have worked if someone had to make a bogus tip off to the police. They didn't find any drugs, so no harm done. Where's Leanne? Oh, she's just put in the taxi. Place still standing at sea? No riots, no fights, no police visits. Uh, the was, but we took care of her. Hiya, how was the spa? Oh, it's amazing. Never felt so relaxed in my old life. If you haven't had a seaweed wrap, you haven't lived. Mm -hmm. I preferred the hot tub. <laughs> do you know what I could do with a foot massage? They're so swollen, I can hardly get my shoes on. That's good, because we brought you a voucher for that place in town. Oh. What for you, David, and all? Thanks for holding the fort. Hey, Cheers. We could go tomorrow afternoon. Can I have it off? You can have the whole day off. You've earned it. And look, um, thanks for everything. That week put everything into perspective. Yeah. Oh, phew. It's been like working in a war zone. Seriously, we're dead chuffed out. Bed chuffed. Right then, come on, let's have a look at the bookings. Is, um, is everything really all right? Yeah, yeah, fine, you know, uh, we're just knackered, everything got on top of us. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. I mean, there's only so much stress a man can take, isn't there? I mean it, though, you know, we couldn't have got through it without you. Yeah, 
Right. I've got to get off to work anyhow because I've got a blue rinse in about 15 minutes. <laughs> Whoa, rock and roll, brother. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. Gran, do you want um, a cup of tea? I've got one, sir. What, do you want me to nip out and get some bickies? David, it's fine. I didn't expect you to remember. And those flowers look absolutely beautiful, Maria. Yes, even in a book, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just have a lot on my mind. Now, David, please stop it. Like I say, it's fine. Right, well, I'll nip and get some bickies anyway. I'll be, I'll be back in a minute, Mrs Hilton. Trace is just the same, totally wrapped up in herself. Mm, I should be used to it by now. Mm, I've told you the latest thing she's done, but... Too awful. Must be bad. Uh, well, David's had his moment, though luckily I think they're all behind him by now. Shame they can't all be like Maria. Your mother's a lucky woman, Maria. I'm sure she wouldn't agree. Um, Deidre, are you busy tonight? Uh, I thought I might have a birthday drink in the Rovers. And you're asking me? Yes, I am. Because I think it's about time we buried the hatchet. Lewis feels like a lifetime away now. Yes, he does. Oh! Afternoon. Oh, and now, did you get to Grasmere Drive? I did, love. You know the damp has spread right through the dining room and into the kitchen. Oh, heavens. Yeah, I'll have to take the cabinets out and see what's what, but the old place might have some damn cost. What, all of it? How much is that going to cost? I'll have another look, but I'm not sure. Look, I'll do your nest me, OK? Oh, yeah, well, right. thanks, Owen. Sorry. See ya. See ya, love. Oh. Oh, dear me. Maybe I should cancel that birthday drink. Well, there's no point worrying just yet. Two steaks, table six. Uh, drinks for table three? Yeah, two garlic breads. Oh, and there's a couple in the corner. Yeah, I'm on it. I know you are. Excuse me, sir, I'm looking for the owner. Ask me. Trading standards. Sorry? I'm here to investigate a complaint. Who from? I can't disclose that information, I'm afraid, sir. What's going on? Oh, trading standards. I've got a right to know who's complaining about me and why. Anonymous tip off. Who from? I will need to take some samples of your spirits, please. Uh, vodka and gin, to be precise. What? Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm sorry, but I have to. Oh, come on, I don't make the vodka, do I? Look at the label, it's not my fault if they don't like it. They do like the vodka, it's just that there's not enough of it. Eh? What are you talking about? We have had a complaint that you are watering down your spirits. My jinx or something. You have to do this here. We've got customers. I'm afraid I do, sir. Oh, this is bonkers. There's nothing wrong with them spirits. We have to investigate every complaint. Nothing happened last week, did it? No. You didn't leave the bar unattended. As if. Well, what about the shifts you weren't working? Oh, I don't know, do I? Well, we've got a staff row at 10. I trust every one of them, don't you? What's going on? Oh, you won't believe this. Trading standards. Someone's accused us of watering down the spirits. What? Oh, well, it's obviously rubbish, so we've got nothing to worry about. And when these tests prove it, I'll be complaining about you. Just doing my job, sir. What? In the middle of a busy lunchtime. Look, you're wasting your time, mate. He's the most honest bloke I know. Cheers. Problems if they are watered down. Then, you may have committed an offence under the Food Safety Act. Which means what? Fine, a warning. Maybe even a prison sentence. A prison sentence? Even if they have been tampered with, you can't prove it was me. As owner, sir, you are responsible. You'll get the results in a few weeks. I'll show myself out, shall I? I don't believe you. Every one of the staff has got access to this bar. Or don't you be accusing me. No one's accusing anyone. You know, I'd never do anything like that. Why would I? Well, you have been known to like a drink. <gasps> I am seven months for being pregnant. Can you stop it! I think I was looking forward to coming back as well. A nice present. Apart from your list of expensive repairs, you mean? I bought you a nice present. Yes, a bangle. Which you've not got No, well, it, it didn't seem to go with this colour. Oh, come on, Audrey, it's your birthday. Hi. Deirdre! Happy birthday, Audrey. Oh! Oh, I say. Oh, no! <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Well, my pottery teacher said it was a one-off. I didn't really want to part with it, but seeing as you need one in the salon. 
It makes all the difference knowing it's going to be on public display. Yes, it does. It does. Thank you so much, Deirdre. No. <laughs> now, what can I get you? A G and T, please. Okay. A large red, is it? Yes, and a G and T for Audrey. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Where's Amy? You see, I told you. I told you that would be the first thing she said to me. It's a valid question. Uh, she's with a father man, you know, the one that drives cabs, while her mother raises a toast to her new business. What is this mysterious business? You never did say. Well, uh, we've taken over the bookies. What? Yep, we are going to open an independent second-hand shop selling high-end stuff, you know, TV, computers. We'll buy whatever you're selling and we offer buyback. It's going to be a pawnbroker's. A what? You can't open one of those room, do you? Why not? They're springing up all over the place. Because it's immoral. But why is it immoral? You're preying on people's poverty to make money. And a bookies does what? Actually, he's right. A bookies is worse. Well, thank you, Marcus. An enlightened voice at last. How is a bookies worse? Oh, you stay out of it, Maria. This is way over your head. We help people out of their debts and a bookies drags them into it. Yeah, exactly. We are giving people money. Hey. We're virtually a charity. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Well, I think it's disgusting. I can't do right for doing wrong, can I? You accuse me of being lazy, of sponging off you, and then when I go to open my own shop, it's disgusting. You're buying stuff off desperate people. Yes, and you're buying it for nothing and then selling it for maximum profit. That's capitalism. Then look where that's got us. Oh, well, you might all be on your high horse now, but when you can't afford to pay your rent or your lecky bill, you'll come running. Now the police. And right. I've been thinking. Oh, steady on. I reckon them spirits are watered down. I think somebody phoned trading stands just to wind you up. Who then? Like a couple one of them students we chucked out. Or some other dissatisfied customer. Do we get many? Maybe we do. Is anybody holding a grudge against you? Not that I know of. Well, there's a few ex-girlfriends out there. <laughs> yeah, they could find out where I live. Break into the flat, get behind the bar, accuse me of drug dealing. That's a nightmare. Oh, look, why don't you go and have a drink with your gran, eh? We can finish up here. Oh, I forgot to call her. Can I get you another drink, Audrey? <laughs> no, it's my round. Oh, right. Oh, I mean... Look, just because it's my birthday doesn't mean I can't buy the drinks. Well, I'll get them. You've already got around, Deirdre. Bad news? Oh, yeah, it's a text from my grandson, Nick. He can't make it. <laughs> Thank you, my family, for making such a terrific effort. What can I get you? Same again, Mandy, please, all round. Are you by it? It seems like it, yes. On your birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, we best have a toast, then. Mine's pint. Do you want to go to the bistro instead? No, I've been turfed out enough places today. Red wine? Yes. Oh, cheer up. You don't look that old. I know. Actually, I've got some building problems, that's all. Like what? Damp. Oh, it's my mate had that. Half his walls crumbled. He was living in the caravan for six months. On the house. Sorry, Amanda, I just really can't cope with this. Uh, thank you all for making such a big effort. Oh, oh. You're not paying for these drinks? Oh, well done, Beth. Why's everyone picking on me today? Happy oh, birthday, Audrey. Oh, oh hello, me. love. I had yeah, yeah, it's fine. Well, there's nothing you can do about it now, so just calm down. Have you read this? What's happened? Oh, the restaurant's had some dodgy reviews on the internet. Dodgy doesn't even cover it. Below average food at above average prices. One to avoid. The only thing colder than my meal was the service. I can only assume the awful background music was intended to hide the ping, the ping of the microwave. Well, at least they got the sense of humour. Uh, I'm not laughing. Did they leave the names? What are you going to do? Go around and chin them? Uh, they're all anonymous. The food was absolutely unforgettable. I saw it again several times that night. Look, all restaurants have bad reviews from time to time. These are poisonous. And all in the last fortnight. Well, we didn't have any complaints. Not that I can remember. Of course we didn't. They're not from genuine diners. What do you mean? What's the hate campaign? That on top of the spirit watering, it's no coincidence. Well, maybe... Oh, it's got to be a member of staff. 
I'm going to call a meeting, read the riot act. Uh, no, you're not. You can't go chucking accusations about. So what? I sit here and wait for the next attack? No, but we need to deal with this sensitively. Keep people on side. Right, I'll go and have a word with the kitchen staff. You ring the waiting team, all right? I'll be in the office. Yeah, don't tip so round them, bro. you got to lay down the law. Yeah, I think he knows what he's doing. See you later. Bye. But this sound, there's no way they'd have done anything. I never said they had. You were shouting the odds, I could hear you in here. What's going on? What's happened? Nothing. Millie and Shane have packed the jobs in. What? Oh, Nick, I told you we had to deal with this sensitively. What did you say? I simply put the facts to them. It's not my fault they're thin-skinned. <sighs> Do you know, I knew I shouldn't have let you make them calls. I knew you were spoiling for a fight. There was no such thing. No? You might as well have worn gloves and a flaming gum shield. Oh, come on. I just sent a warning shot across the bows. Across the bows, yeah. Not in the back of the flaming heads. This is the last thing we needed. Have you seen the faces in the kitchen? They could chop the atmosphere, never mind the veg. I did nothing wrong. Oh, you got worked up over nothing. Staff morale's important and you've ruined it. Because one of them tried to ruin me. I'd send out a message. No, there's no talking to you today. We're short on fivers. Did you put the float back in the safe? The float? Yeah, you were counting it this morning, you know, before permanently alienating the workforce. Uh, it was on the bar. I don't remember. I thought you had it. I didn't have it. Don't look at me. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, right, don't panic. Just go and check the safe. Okay, if you insist. But we both don't waste my time. I believe you left it on the bar. Yeah, believe it or not, I've had a lot on my mind. Why should I be able to leave it on the bar of a closed restaurant? Oh, yeah, because some lunatic's on a mission to destroy me. Oh, just calm down. Any joy? No, nobody's seen it. No, of course they haven't. What's happened now? Oh, someone has gone missing, 50 quid out of the flow or something. It hasn't gone missing, it was stolen. Probably by the same person who watered down the spirits and wrote those dodgy reviews. And now you just jump into conclusions. I don't know. Sounds like too much of a coincidence to me. Exactly. We haven't even looked for it properly yet. Okay, it's not here and it's not in the office, and I doubt whether it's going to turn up in a salad niçoise. I'm calling the police. Oh, come on, seriously. Are we really going to involve the police for the sake of 50 quid? It's not about the money, it's about everything. If I don't stop this here and now, who knows where it'll end? I can't take much more of this. <laughs> 